All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Get it out of the way. Go ahead. All right. You done? Yeah, you done. My hair is a little shorter than I would like it to be. It's not the first time. I've done this before. You know, you may remember. Look, I literally told them to like, they, they were like, oh, we're going to cut it to like right here. This is what they did. They done wrecked my crap. Anyway, welcome back to Master Detective Archives Raincoat, episode three. We're going to be starting on chapter two. All right. You're not still thinking of the hair thing, are you? Don't worry. It grows back. Look, it's not that bad. I don't mind it that much. <laughs> that's that's the real mystery here. <laughs> Jacked up hairstyle aside, I am really excited to see what happens next on this series. Like, you know, we did the whole train thing, but like now what? You know, what's going to be? Obviously, there's going to be more mysteries, but in what way? Like how, in what setting? You know, there's so many things. Uh, are they going to have us go on missions? Thank you, everyone. Uh, hey, subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate it. Oh, what is that up there? Coconut head. There's a place I want to show you. It's the best spot to learn about this town. Hey, relax. Don't be so nervous. Sure. Yeah, so we got a new Come character on, now. He looks pretty cool. He seems like a good guy. I just have a feeling we ain't gonna see very much of him. You know what I mean? But, yeah, my expectations are... I really don't have any for this game yet. Because they keep freaking flipping everything I know upside down. Abandoned building rooftop. love the view of the city from here. Do you know? Oh no. It's like we're always right at the brink of dawn. Although, thanks to them, the real dawn will never rise here. Dawn? Like, wait, so like, does it... Do they affect the weather somehow? You mean I'm a Terrasa Corporation? Kanai Ward is isolated and out of the UG's reach. Now, Amaterasu is the de facto master of the city. None who wish to live in peace dare defy them. As long as you know your place, life can be pretty good here. Open an umbrella and the rain won't touch you. Wear a raincoat and you can even take a girl cycling. Rain code. Rain coats, rain code. There's a connection here. You know what I mean, right? Kinda. A while back, our detective agency used this building. But we were kicked out due to a contract dispute. The owner claimed renting the building out to detectives made the place unpopular. In Kanai Ward, detectives aren't even allowed to have their own offices. Really? I don't know what the WDO is thinking. But, I don't want this town to change. It should stay the way it is. It deserves some peace and quiet. And that's why this time around, I don't want any trouble. It's not easy to negotiate with these people. Um, I heard that Kanai Ward has a lot of unsolved mysteries. Oh, mysteries afoot, eh? I like how he has like a little rain hat. It's perfect on this little cocoa head. Screams are part of the daily noise around here. They're kind of like church bells marking sunset. Whenever someone's smiling in that building, someone else in town is weeping. However, we can't go punching the guy who's smiling. We can only offer a handkerchief to those in tears before quietly slipping away. Nothing more is needed anyway. We're not superheroes or anything. We're just detectives. Well, I imagine he must have some sort of uh, uh, special ability as well, right? Just if he's a detective. Detectives, he says. 
but he has the resigned smile of someone who's given up. That look tells me exactly the kind of place Kanai Ward is, in a way words couldn't begin to describe. That's a good observation there. This buzzhead dude comes off like an irresponsible geezer, but there's an ominous aura around him. You only end up like that if... You've seen death all the time. That's what I'm saying, man. He's gonna be a good guy, and he's just I just know the game the game will do this. They're gonna do it. They're gonna Could do it. Maybe because of this city? Maybe. Or maybe it's his old man stench. <laughs> Shinigami, come on. Have some respect for once huh? in your life. Something wrong? Is there something on my gorgeous face? He's like the Jiraiya type character of the game like you know he just you you like him a lot but you know okay back Sorry, in the day I'll i stop. was rather popular with the ladies <laughs> you may think that means i'm no longer so popular oh but i am definitely and still popular you oh right. <laughs> never mind the rain it never stops does it rain often here oh this stuff fatalists would tell you that all rain must come to a stop but for the past few years, the rain in our town hasn't stopped falling. That seems like a big problem. For years? Yeah, years. It started around, oh, three years ago? Weird, huh? Thanks to that, we have no need for weather forecasts. A city where it's always raining. No wonder things are so dark and damp here. The rain sure has changed things around here. Both the city and the people, too. Supposedly, there's something in the rain that messes with our bodies and the environment. But it's all hearsay. No one knows why the rain never lets up. But it probably has something to do with Amaterasu. Why would they want it to rain? Kanai Ward. It's such a bizarre place. <laughs> bizarre, huh? Uh, you're not gonna make it here if you find this shocking. You'll be seeing a lot of strange things in this city, I'll tell you that much. This is nothing but despair for miles. But there's no need to overcomplicate things. Everything is just an illusion in the rain. Just think of it that way, and you'll be mm, fine. Gold text, okay. Trust me, it's easier this way. Is it? Well, now that i finished showing you the town, let's head to the agency. This place, there's a lot more to it than I thought. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, it smells so good here. It's like there's a florist on every corner. Really? I don't see any florists. I didn't mean it literally. To me, nothing smells sweeter than the stench of death. The stench of death? There are gruesome mysteries all over this place. It smells so lovely. That sounds so ominous. Hey! The elevator's here! Right! Coming! Oh, wow. I would really love a... I was gonna read that. Amatan, my favorite robot. Yeah, definitely a cyberpunk-esque thing. Um, I wanted to say that one of the endings to... I think Danganronpa, they kind of had buildings that were similar. It's probably not part of the same world, but, you know, who who knows? All right, let's venture on. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, so we want to investigate things to get a detective points. Uh, I wanted to take a look at the menu and see if there's... Yeah, abilities. There we go. Come on, pay attention. And abilities, you can check master status as well as acquire labyrinth you skills. Over this. What kind of labyrinth skills, skills would we need? I mean, it seemed pretty straightforward unless it's going to be more complicated later on. Increase stamina by 100. That's obviously the first one we would get. Vitality 1. Uh, memory cap? Sure. Oh, when Shinigami puzzle sequences, remove one solution key. Shinigami will barf up. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I actually don't have any more points though. Or do I? No, I don't. Okay. Alright, I'm actually gonna go for... I'm gonna go for stamina. That seems like the best thing to do you know okay we'll worry about that later oh okay we can read about shinigami here i'm actually interested in this so likes yuma dislikes boredom entity death god 
I ability, mystery level thingy. Shinigami's true form, her personality is no different from when she's in her spirit form. So she continues to enjoy teasing Yuma. She can open a path to the mystery labyrinth, which is a manifestation of mysteries from the real world. She has many special abilities inside the mystery labyrinth that can aid Yuma in solving it. The mystery labyrinth can be dispelled by reaping the soul of culprit from whom it was made, resulting in the culprit's death. So notice how Yuma is still doesn't show his like uh, talent or anything like that. Oh, his talent is Flare of no uh, for Negotiation. So he negotiates. Now then. All right, let's go down. Yes. Right. No need to be so nervous. There's nothing dangerous here anyway. Uh, I'm ready. This area is called Kamasaki District. It's the busiest and messiest place in all of Ganai Ward. In other words, it's a lively area. Yeah, I'll tell you what's happened. Uh, obviously, someone made it rain continuously because they own the umbrellas, right? Then now they can sell them to everyone, infinitely. Umbrellas, they break. The it's a smart idea. Blurred in the rain. If there really is an illusion in the rain, I think it'd be the streetlights. I don't have any memories of this scenery, but it still makes me all nostalgic. Hey, what's this guy doing? Perhaps I'm from a city like this one. Maybe if you formed my mind into a shape, it looked like this place. Hmm, dude, these people are shady. Look at them just standing around. You gotta remember there was that mystery character that jumped off the train, and it was the cart that was left behind and eventually rejoined the train. So I wonder what that's all about. Did someone survive? Or is that just another character we don't know about? Weird how it's not flooded, given how it's always raining here. It looks like they have a good drainage system. See? There's a drain leading to a pipe over there. Yeah, I was good. I was thinking that you better have a good draining. Just imagine what would happen if I got sucked in there. Hey! There's a clown in the sewer staring at you! <laughs> Do you like balloons? Oh, a clown! <laughs> <laughs> Made you look. That's funny. I love the references. They make a lot of references to things. I explained briefly, but Basically, Amaterasu Corp picks on detectives. My colleagues and hired assistants all quit. They said working here as a detective was simply impossible. So, you've been working as the only detective for the whole city ever since? It's not like I could change careers. Wait, really? The, detective after the only all. one? Okay. My clients trust me to do the job. Although, most of my requests involve infidelity or finding lost pets. Infidelity. What about unsolved mysteries? He's catching the, the cheaters. The get to handle that. Detectives don't even get close. Oh, interesting. But now, things could be different since you're all here. Huh? All? Yeah, what does that mean? Yeah, we got a feeling things will be a bit stuffy moving forward. That's probably an understatement. Um, is your agency up ahead? Like I said earlier, detectives aren't allowed to work in a proper office in Kanai Ward. So we gotta work in the sewers like Ninja Turtles. Ugh, must we travel this nauseating path? I'm too blue-blooded for this. The other master detectives are already waiting at the agency. You're the last to join us. Other master detectives? But everyone on the train died. Thanks to that hitman hired by Amaterasu. The oh, days, they're gonna get a bunch of them then. Interference. They prepared multiple routes for entry into Kanai Ward. They covered their bases. Other master detectives arrive from routes besides the Amaterasu Express. Mm. Both official and unofficial members traveled through these various routes. I see. So it wasn't just the Amaterasu Express. Amaterasu Corporation caught on and tried to interfere on all the routes. Granted, they deny any involvement. Some routes were completely stamped out. Yours barely made it. That 
tragedy happened to others, too. Excluding you, there are four others who survived. Unfortunately, a lot of sacrifices were made. Dang, they didn't even have Shinigami. How did but they solve their as mysteries? As a result, you could say master detectives of the highest caliber have been gathered here. Each of you did outsmart Amaterasu and made it here, after all. So it was like a battle. Hearing Master get complimented really annoys So it's like it's like the, the best survived. Why? You know? I wonder what these surviving master detectives are like. So exciting. So mysterious. Oh, uh, more character introductions coming soon. <laughs> uh so yeah, the best of the best. Even though they're supposed to be the best of the best, right? Talented. Now the best of the best survived. And okay. So now we're finally going to see probably the real characters that we're supposed to care about. Even though there was quite a bit that we thought we were going to care about. Little did we know. I st I'm not going to trust anybody. Uh-uh. I've learned too many lessons. Can't even trust my barber. Here we are. Um... Where's the agency? It's right here. <laughs> All right. Remember this, Yuma. The most important things cannot be seen by the eye. Oh my god, he's got it hidden. Oh, it's underwater. I thought it was invisible. I thought they had that kind of technology. Oh, it's a boat. Jeez, dude, where'd you find the money to buy this? Just don't. <laughs> yeah, never mind. <laughs> this is the agency? I thought my eyes were gonna pop out. Welcome to the Nocturnal Detective Agency. What, you expected something a bit tidier? I guess I wouldn't call this place clean myself. But isn't it awesome? Our own submarine! Is this really it? Why does it gotta be a submarine Our though? Like it's a sub? <laughs> okay, I was gonna make a Titanic joke, alright? But they're saying submarine. I mean you <laughs> You've been assigned to a sinking ship of a detective agency. It's just so ironic, my god. gonna say his clothes are stained oh this is that character chocolates did you say chocolate are you in an oven Okay, Thanks for here we go. Everyone. Our final new member has arrived at last. His name's Coco Head. What? What's his name? Watch it. Don't just come barging in here. S sorry. What are you talking about? This is my detective agency, isn't it? Victory is mine. Pay off. Okay. But hold on. That doesn't count. It was an accident thanks to the chief barging in here. Nonsense. You should have expected him to return from his errand. Moreover, you should have realized he was back when our submarine resurfaced. Yeah. When you put it like that. With my logic, anything is possible. Hmm, I'm trying to make sense of these characters already without even them really doing anything. Didn't Teru Teru, is, that was his name, right? From Danganronpa 2 had those like the little circles on his cheeks. So I see this other character has them too. Um, what are they? What's his name, Teru Teru? The, the little chef dude? Hey, what are you doing with those matches? No fire is allowed on my sub. It's just He's literally smoky. <laughs> he strikes the matches one by one. He wins if he lights 10 in a row. But if he fails even once, I win. And he failed. 
Thus, I get all the cash. That's a stupid game. All right, we got another green-haired character. Hang on, it was lit. The chief opened the door, which blew it out. I succeeded in lighting it, so the game continues. The next is the seventh, right? I see. It's our first uh, mystery here. Hey, ref. How many matches was it? Uh, you can check by counting the number of chocolates on the table. Sure thing. Uh, one. Cool. She eating them? Three. Hey, don't eat those. We're using them to count. How many are we missing now? Two or three? Come on, princess. How many did you eat? Be honest. Just use your detective skills to find out. Uh, two or three. Uh, what comes after three? Hey, don't get attached. I All right, don't get attached. I'm telling you right now. Count that high. Please give me just a moment to recall it. <sighs> it's all ruined. Um, why don't you count the number of matchsticks you've used instead? Oh, right. Uh, I'll just count the matchsticks in the ashtray. Why the hell are there so many? Didn't you say no open flames are allowed in here? <laughs> it's harder to quit than you think. That's what I said. Uh-huh. I remember. The number four comes after three. So the answer is four. Huh? Wow, how did you figure that out? But there is still a chocolate missing. Hang on, there were more than four to begin with. Did you eat another one? <laughs> You're eating it right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't take themselves seriously, that's for sure. Delicious. So this is what commoners eat. Interesting. Okay, so she's rich. <sighs> it is simply heavenly. Anyway, time to pay up. So she seems sort of like a, ser a serious character. I'm using my authority as chief to end this game. And no more gambling. Do you understand you're in con, I ward? Don't give the peacekeepers any reasons to drop in on us. Virtue, honesty, and sting the hell out of trouble. That's our motto here at Nocturnal Detective Agency. Got it? Now then, I'd like to introduce you to our final team member. What's up with his tattoos, though? Like, right, doesn't he seem like the kind of guy that's like, he's he's cool, and he seems like a good guy, but he might have a past, you know what I mean? Yuma, Coco Head. I mean, he got the tattoos. Round of applause, please. Nice to meet you all. I was hoping they'd be amazing detectives, but they all look kind of dumb. I wonder which one of them will die first. Mm. The game even knows. Hey, knock it off. They managed to get past Amaterasu's attacks. I'm sure they're all amazing. Yeah, like I'm more interested in the spaced out girl with the chocolates, right? Right? Like, how did she survive? <laughs> she probably like mistakenly figured things out. I bet you that's like her how she is. She's just a dim-witted like person that just eats chocolate. And it's like, oh, I accidentally solved the mystery. But maybe that's her talent or something. Like, I don't know. Let me introduce everyone to you. First, the one sitting over there is Halara Nightmare. A Halara Nightmare. Detective. The first to arrive at Kanai Ward. Her name is Nightmare. Okay. The little match boy over there is Desuhiko Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Wait, who's the match boy? He reminds me of like um. Naruto type character, you know, like that kind of like bratty. The beautiful lady next to him is Fubuki Clockford. She is the heiress of the famous Clockford family. Clockford. A pleasure to meet you. She has a bunch of like symbols on her the the like, symbolize like playing the or like uh, music the fireplace what fireplace <laughs> but why there of all places he says it's calming in there anyway his name is vivia twilight hey nice to meet you we found the emo character vivia twilight it's the nagito of the game already i could see it Right. Oh, I don't know. Now that we're all here, let's have a seat. Mm. 
He just really wanted to sit down, I think. <laughs> Ooh, a cool seat. Sit down right here. How fitting that it's purple. Now, all remaining agents sent to the Nocturnal Detective Agency are here. There are a lot less of you than what we originally planned. Well, regardless of how many people we would have gotten, we'd still be no match against the Peacekeeper's numbers. So, we'll keep laying low down here and avoid provoking them, as we've been doing. Huh? You want to stay submerged in this filthy river? I didn't come here to rot like sewage! I want to make a grand entrance, solve all unsolved mysteries, and become a superstar detective. I'm trying to see if there's any like references on the on his shirt or jacket, or whatever it is. Oh, I don't notice and anything. Once I'm rich and famous, I'll make you all my assistants. In Kanai Ward, solving cases won't make you famous. All information is controlled by the peacekeepers. They simply conceal anything that's inconvenient to them. If you want to be famous in this town, it's much easier if you're a villain. Oh no. Oh no. I don't see. say that. Got it. Wait, don't actually do it. Don't instigate anything with those guys. Got it? <laughs> I'm just kidding around. Why is the WDO gathering master detectives in Kanai Ward? What do they want us to do? Honestly, I don't know what the WDO is thinking either. I just found out about this recently myself. You didn't receive any instructions? Not yet, at least. I'm hoping they'll call us eventually. But before that, there's something I need to verify first. I'm trying to focus on like his little notes over here. I don't. I want to see like any Easter eggs. I don't see Yuma, anything though. It's about you. Huh? Me? I heard the peacekeepers talking and learned about it back then. But do you really have amnesia? Huh? <laughs> Amnesia? Yeah, seems like I do. I don't remember anything from before getting on the Amaterasu Express. Ah, then you and I are alike. We are amnesia buddies, Yuma. Huh? Fubuki, you too? Indeed. I cannot remember what I had for breakfast. <laughs> I cannot even recall how I got here. Uh, I think you're just forgetful. Don't make things even more complicated. My apologies. What is the source of your amnesia? Is Amat- No. Oh, sorry. Uh, it doesn't seem likely. I was still at the station when I woke up. So you really don't remember anything? Oh, I'm surprised you got past Amaterasu's attacks like that. I probably can't tell him it's thanks to the pact I made with a death god. Yeah, I was gonna say, isn't that- that's the reason why, right? about me breaks the contract but we just don't know why we don't know why this happened or how it happened all my only guess is that he found the book and that's how it happened i think i was just lucky the chief saved me in the end but most likely it's probably a bigger reason that we think well you can work off your debt to me so you really don't know who you are in other words you don't remember if you're a detective that's correct oh but i do have a letter from the wdo and this outfit is definitely mine because it fits perfectly. <laughs> We've established that in last chapter. You. That's not what I'm worried about. I've already verified your identity. Huh? You oh, know yeah, the who I Ed, am? tell him. I didn't just daydream in the park and feed pigeons while y'all were heading here. I checked the routes everyone used and provided support wherever I could. Unfortunately, most of the info was kept secret, so supporting you was all I could do. At the very least, I did manage to obtain info about the Amaterasu Express. Then again, it was mostly thanks to Halara and Desuhiko since they arrived so early. I got the passenger list from Amaterasu Corporation using my special forte. Mm -hmm. That ability is top secret, so uh, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you about it just yet. I'll just look at your character description. Your name was on the passenger list, Yuma. Oh. Once we knew your name, obtaining more information was easy. I researched the histories of everyone on the list. This doesn't sound like something you need to hear. What? Of course it is! I might finally get to learn about my past! Mm. So... Why would she I? not want him to learn about that? The truth might surprise you, but... Among the master detectives registered at the WDO, no individual with the name Yuma Cocohead exists. I mean, I thought it was a ridiculous name, and like it doesn't surprise me. What do you mean? 
five master detectives were summoned to the Amaterasu Express. That is an undisputable fact. But a detective in training was also summoned. Detective in training? That's you, Yuma. Looks like you've been working toward being a detective at the WDO. You may be part of the organization, but you haven't earned your stripes just yet. So, I'm not really a master detective yet? <laughs> that sounds about right. You never fail to amuse me, master. Despite that, I know for sure you'll be an integral part of our team. I reviewed your profile in the WDO records, and it turns out you have a phenomenal ability. Oh yeah, what is it? An ability? So I do have some sort of special power too? Your record claims that you're a great cook. <laughs> Would you mind making us breakfast from now on? <laughs> it's total. It's a total lie. Your life is made. I don't know if I can. I don't have any memories about cooking. Never Just mind. try. Did my profile mention anything else? Like where I used to live or my personal history? It didn't have any details of the sort. You see, you've got a trainee's profile, not a proper master detective's. I see. You know, trainees are kind of like appetizers at a restaurant, don't you think? I guess that makes you the appetizer detective! <laughs> hey, shut up! Shut up! Mm -hmm. I'll do my best to train you from the ground up to be a great detective. When you literally have the There's death god, like, about. come on. Everyone starts off as a trainee. He kind of got a like a head start. Also, not everyone can use their forte from the get-go. Though some are born rather gifted. Still, no matter how much talent you have, you require the right training to make the most use of your abilities. No matter how smart they are or how dexterous their fingers. No surgeon dives straight into surgery. The same goes for master detectives. If you want to do things the right way, you have to learn it. All right, so he's got to go through his main character arc of training. So everyone here also trains at the World Detective Organization? The WDO requires a two-year training period for all agents. No exceptions. Am I just tripping or that picture be moving? Yep. During that time, it's the like agent's clipping. paranormal disposition is honed into a forensic forte. Specializing in investigation. Halera's voice sounds familiar. And those who manage to develop their forte are certified as master detectives. Like me. I can't say his voice is uh, familiar at all. Plus, once you become a master detective, you get a detective deed from the WDO. By the way, not all detectives working for the WDO are master detectives. There are regular detectives, like myself, who don't have fortes. Oh, okay. Oh, really? I still got my detective deed. It doesn't say master detective on it, but it still holds the same weight. A forte mostly depends on innate talent. Some people will never develop it, no matter how much effort they put in. But that doesn't mean they can't be a detective. Anyone can get a detective deed as long as they complete their training. So, is that my case as well? I don't think I have any special abilities. No, you, you can cook. Now go cook an omelet. Uh, there is no record about your forte. You could be like me and have no special powers. I think this is, it's gotta be one of those things where we're not gonna learn it till the end of the game. And when we learn it, it's gonna make so much sense. Did that, that already happened in previous games, right? I can't remember exactly which one that happened in, but that did happen. It. It's like you didn't learn it until the very end of the game, and it's like, okay. Who cares about that? You've got me, master. Look, there's no need to be so down about having no forte of your own. That has nothing to do with whether you're a good detective or not. Even a kid or a delinquent can be a master detective if they're good at one thing. But detectives with no special abilities must pass basic testing with flying colors before they're certified. So, in fact, you could say those without special abilities make better detectives. I mean, yeah, like they actually, you know, they don't have a big head, you know, they actually have to be smart. Your own horn, old man. But being both a capable detective and a master detective would be even better, such as myself. Okay, Halera. You're tuning your own horn too. Anyway, whether you have an ability or not, the fact remains that you've been striving to be a detective. So, I wanted to be a detective. 
Also, keep in mind that despite being a trainee, you were given a directive. That's pretty impressive. You must be quite capable. I mean, master detectives were killed, but you managed to survive. <laughs> well, let's not tell them this because he slept in the bathroom on accident. You know, basically. I'm not sure if that's right. I am sure you shall eventually remember all that you have forgotten, Yuma. At this point, it's just going to be pure luck, right? I think maybe that's his thing. He just has that luck. Although, I still do not remember what I ate this morning, let alone yesterday's weather. But I gotta imagine that her skill must have something to do with music, right? I mean, look at her, look at her like neck band thing. It's gotta be it music was raining. thing. It's always raining. Oh, right. <laughs> she knows how many playbacks uh, that any song has, like on uh, streaming sites or something. <laughs> Is she this it's useless. <laughs> she can tell you the exact number. Maybe she's a giant skank. It's boom kill time if you fall for her, master. Whoa, she got me. You jealous? You jelly? Don't worry. I, I'm pretty sure she ain't gonna make it anyway, right? You know? Look, look, I'm a seasoned veteran, right? Every time I get attached to freaking anyone, they just, they go bye-bye. They go bye-bye. Anything. -bye. By the way, my agency treats both trainees and detectives as the same thing. To all you master detectives, you better not drop your guard or the rookie here is going to steal your thunder. Got it? <laughs> go ahead and try. Too bad for you, rookie. I'm going to take all the medals. I have no desire to compete. <laughs> She's the you smart one. Senior detectives sure are a handful. Vivia, anything you'd like to say to the newbie? Mm. Yeah, I'm very interested in this character. No, not really. Not really. A call? That's the direct line to the World Detective Organization. So, they're finally contacting us. All communication in Kanai Ward is shut out from the outside world. So that phone is rather special. And, obviously, it's kept secret from the Amaterasu folk. If they're contacting us, maybe they'll finally give us our orders. My god, just answer the phone! Go ahead, rookie. Huh? You want me to answer? Master! Uh, I want to answer it, but I feel like I should look around. Yeah, I can't listen to this. Let's just answer it. Um, hello. What the, the heck are you? It's freaking Please Colonel Sanders? Your business. Good work, all of you. <laughs> I assume everyone is present. Mm. So few of you survived. Dude, this Far guy less looks than crazy. I anticipated, but considering who survived. This just suffice. I who's skipped it. This, grandpa? He acts like he's this is Dingit Grandpa. Ah, okay. You should have said oh, that. It's me. I've never seen him before. My contact is usually someone totally different. You don't know who this is? That's a problem. He dialed the wrong number? <laughs> He's like, I just wanted to order a pizza. Sorry. No, uh, that's impossible. This is a direct line to the WDO. Um, who are you? Would you mind telling us your name? A name? Unfortunately, I discarded my name long ago. Now, I simply go by number one. I'm sure you've heard of me. Number one. Number two. He, if anyone in this game looks evil as this dude, I, right? I'm getting zero good vibes out of him. He got gray skin. <laughs> Number one? You're joking, seriously? Uh, my sincerest apologies for my rude behavior. <laughs> <laughs> My rude behavior. To appear. This must be very serious business. Okay, so he's the head honcho then. Is he a big deal or something? Number one is the top master detective. Leader of the World Detective Organization. The top detective of the WDO? He's like, yes, I called as soon as I heard the Cocoa Head was there. He rarely ever shows himself. Thus, no one knows his true identity. He is only known among detectives as... Number one. He definitely knows the secret Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe. He's the top of the World Detective Organization? It's just some old man. Hey! I am here to give those of you who arrived your instructions. There is a dangerous secret lurking here, which we refer to as Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? However, Kanai Ward's ultimate secret 
isn't a problem affecting only this city. There is a chance it relates to the ongoing great global mystery. Hence why I chose to deliver your orders directly. Move swiftly to investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Doing so will assist us in solving the great global mystery. That is all. Huh? That's it? How about some clues? Why do you think you're there? If you're a detective, search for clues yourself. Providing any information beforehand will merely result in misconceptions. Uh, understood. Do you recall the World Detective Organization's creed? A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. I heard that every single day during training. But it's not something you can easily put into practice. I mean, yeah, you don't want your emotions in it at all. Is pretty that true, much. Master? I don't remember at all. Mysteries are the greatest threat to humanity. The WDO will not allow mysteries to go unsolved. They shall be eradicated with sagacious wit and indomitable will. I'm trying to see if we can hide text in this game, but I don't think that's a function. We must guide the lost souls of victims to paradise in the oh. name of truth. Sorry, I'm still not used to go these forth, con controls. Detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. I don't know, man. I don't I don't get good feelings from that guy. Hey, did you hear that? We got a direct order from number one. We play our cards right. We're guaranteed to get promoted. <laughs> I'm hyped. It isn't so simple. Just look at how much we sacrificed to get you here. Kanai Ward's ultimate secret must have something to do with Amaterasu Corporation. Which means we have to snoop on them. They're gonna wipe us out. So it's a full-on war then. Hmm. The WDO is serious. War is awful. I myself am a pacifist. I just want to eat chocolate. Well, it's something we have to do from here on. And there you go again with your jokes. Fubuki, were you listening? Uh huh. I was. However, I was also lost in my own thoughts. You weren't listening then. So, Chief, any ideas about Kanai Ward's ultimate secret? This place has so many secrets that I have no idea where to start. But one thing that comes to mind is this unending rain, I think. I would say that's a good start, he right? That's kind of weird. something to do with the great global mystery, too. I have no clue what that is. That sounds like a rain thing. Well, for kinda. now, let's sneak into Amaterasu Corp and start gathering up info. Don't you dare do anything dangerous like that. It's not like they're leaving secrets in easy to reach spots. Well, then what are we supposed to do? You really want to know? The right thing to do is absolutely nothing. This guy is freaking out now all of a sudden. Like, I mean, what? I mean, we got to do something. Jeez. How did it end up like this? Oh, come on. You need to snap out of it, Chief. I've got a bad feeling about all this. Who would have guessed number one would show up? Ah! All I wanted was to sink quietly into the river. Is he just lazy then? Are things really that bad? Yeah, lives are at stake here. Danger is a daily occurrence in all of Kanai War. Bro has seen some things. I'm used to wagering my life like poker chips. It feels like my path. Hmm. Her earrings, um, red and blue, huh? Maybe for you, but I'm not that way. Who said I wanted that? I got it. Let's pretend like we didn't hear a thing. <laughs> no. It was I just the wind. It's impossible. Given the sacrifices that were already made, the WDO can't back down now. Uh, I guess we have no choice. Chief Yako. Everything that goes down in the city is handled by the peacekeepers of Amaterasu Corporation. They simply fabricate or cover things up in whatever way is most convenient for them. In other words, the truth they're hiding may be connected to Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Some of these cover-ups may be clues for unsolved mysteries then. But there are tons of cases where they covered up the truth. Then what we need to do is clear. 
Uh huh? Don't stare at me, dumbfounded rookie. We've got to crush each unsolved mystery one by one. With all of them? I suppose that's one way to solve whatever's going on. Oh, fine. All right, listen up. Truth be told, I wish this day had never come. But part of me knew that it was inevitable. Our goal now is to expose Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. We'll be up against Amaterasu Corporation. So please, be extremely careful. We don't know what these guys will do to interfere with us. That said, you all survived the deadly trip to get here, so I'm sure you're up to the challenge. We've been trapped in this rain for a long time now. But it's time to put an end to that. Oh man, he's tough now. Please, help me save this city. You heard him, Master. I love it. Things are getting interesting. <laughs> Miss Dearful. <sighs> okay. Just please spare the chocolate girl. In the unending rain. Through the winding neon cityscape. Draped in my raincoat, I roam in search of my missing memories. What secrets lurk in this labyrinth of Oh my pipes? god, just beating the brakes off this poor man. Oh god, we got the villains over here. We have yet to find the answer. Who is this? The story of detectives facing the darkness that enshrouds the truth? Is about to begin. What the heck? They got zombies in this game? Oh, we finally got the intro? My god, I played this, it's been like five hours. All right, uh, ding. Please don't copyright me. Oh, it says all the voice actors, so if anyone wanted to look that up, you can. I don't uh, recognize any of their names, though. Hanji Tang is the voice actor. Uh, I was reading the wrong name. I was thinking of their. Whatever. Okay, all right. Okay, that's an important character, clearly. That was the girl in the hood. Trying to gather any information I can. These are the villains. Okay, man, we are about to go on an adventure. Prologue, W versus Amaterasu Corporation end. Oh, so was that, that was still just chapter zero. I thought I was done with it. Whoopsie. I thought it was done. The faint sound of a ticking clock melts against the sound of rain. Is that the timbre of water splashing a ship in the night? Or is it the sound of a wedge driven into the wheel of fate? <gasps> Every time the it vault does door exist. closes, 
You saw it. I search again. The peak. For a reason to open it. The Nell Man Killings. Okay. All right, mystery gang, let's get to the bottom of this. Oh, this is just anime Scooby Doo, but we don't have a dog. <sighs> no one's here yet? It's just about time, I think. And to be fair, their type are rarely on time anyway. Master detectives are all <laughs> Did you get a good night's sleep, Yuma? Not really. What? But I gave you time to rest at the office. Your brain won't work right without enough sleep. Be more like me. Even today, my mind is crystal clear. Although it doesn't get much use. <laughs> uh, huh. To think that Master had to sleep on such a filthy sofa. The other Master detectives are staying at a hotel, right? That's no fair. I'm totally jealous. I mean, does she even need a sleep? That's discrimination. They said detectives and trainees would be treated equally. For now, how about you wash your sleepy face? You can't work as a detective when your mind is hazy. All right, we got to get to the bottom of these killings by nails, apparently. If you want to wash your face, use the tap in the kitchen. Oh, I have to go do that? Who's that face? You know, we got to investigate everything, get those points, right? This is... Uh, the Kane Ward map, the memos posted on it seem to be from cases the chief worked. Aww. Searching for stray cats, lost property, and a whole bunch of unimportant stuff. There doesn't seem to be, to be any new memos. He has not taken one uh, on cases lately. Yeah, he's just doing those D rank missions, you know, but now we got that S rank mission. I see. Forensics, for, uh, physics, forensics, accounting, encyclopedias, there's a lot of heavy reading. Don't be so sure. Maybe he just put fancy dust jackets on raunchy magazines. No way, I think. He really did. Wow. The shower room. Okay. Wow. Even the shower room is shower room is fully equipped. This submarine is incredible. Master? Oh, I don't need a shower right now. Way to kill the mood. Huh? What are you even talking about? Oh god, you watched me shower too, huh? Dang. She's I mean I technically she's always there, right? <sighs> he said I can't work as a detective if my mind is hazy. Why do I want to become one in the first place? It's not like I have any special powers. You are the coconut head. You got Is this. Is there a reason why? Even if there was, right now, I have no reason to try being a detective. Yeah, some of you guys pointed the, uh, this out in the comments as well, but like, yeah, like his hair thing is like a question mark. You know, which is perfect for a, de a detective. I thought that was interesting. I'm pretending to be one to regain my memories. Is it right for me to pursue this if that's my goal? Master, there you go with that dumb poetic stuff again. It's not dumb. This is important to me. <laughs> that poetic stuff again. <sighs> <laughs> you better be careful. Whenever a detective sighs, a murder case occurs. Like it wouldn't happen otherwise? I wish that was the case. Wait a minute, Yuma. You're good at cooking, right? <laughs> Can you make something for me? Please! Huh? Eggs, right, right now. now. Come on, man. I'm starving. Maybe if you do some expert cooking, it might rekindle your lost memories or something. Uh, I guess so. Right? So get out breakfast. Thanks. Wait, Chief! That's me, man. I always want breakfast, but I just don't want to cook it. I want someone what else to do, do it. Give it a shot. Maybe your muscles will remember. I guess I'll try. He's just gonna make absolutely like awful cooking. Oh no, he is good. Look at that. Look at those skills. He's the Gordon Ramsay right, of done. rice, apparently. Let's take it to Chief Yako. Did you see that oh, flip? He is a chef. Pretty good. Let's take this in the shower. <laughs> Look at it steaming. It looks. Sounds pretty good right now. God, I hope Chief Yako likes my cooking. Chief, breakfast is ready. Hey, it smells nice. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> he didn't even taste it. He's gone pale. <laughs> I hope he isn't dead. No way. Oh. Uh, Chief, 
Are you Is right? he allergic? What was the deal with that? But he didn't even taste it. He just smelled it. He's like, smells good, didn't he? I thought I was a goner. Did you poison Maybe me? you did taste it, but it was no animation, Why you know? Why I do that? I can't believe you'd say that after all the trouble I went through making it. Right. I basically forced you to make it. Sorry. Yuma, can you clean this up? Oh, that went about as well as I expected. All right, so he's not good at cooking. All right, never mind. I take it all back. He looked like he had the Patrick, skills, though. If you ever want to boom kill someone, you should just cook for them. I think it'd be the perfect crime. <laughs> mm. my profile say I was good at cooking? He just doesn't appreciate the Forget fine about the cooking. dining. Yeah, at least until you get your memories back. Yeah, I figured. <coughs> Yesterday was such a surprise. I never thought there would be a directive from number one. To investigate Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. Ultimate secret? Uh, but it's dangerous. Amaterasu Corp won't sit idly by and let it happen. Uh, it's big trouble, all right. Look, I'm not saying I've been idle up until now. I tried investigating Amaterasu several times regarding some unsolved mysteries. They get pissed, and I get a lecture bordering on torture. They even confiscated my office. And, well, here I am now. Why didn't the World Detective Organization help you? I asked a few times, but they always waved me off. Turns out there were other cases which were higher priorities. And besides, ever since Kanai Ward became isolated from the world, we haven't been able to exchange much info. They didn't quite get how bad the place has gotten. But what made them investigate Kanai Ward to begin with? The great global mystery must be a huge deal. Even number one is getting involved. Hey, isn't number one coming here? I thought he was at the WDO's headquarters. <laughs> you think I'd know? Number one is being hunted by criminal syndicates all over the world. His location is kept top secret. That's why he almost never shows up in public. It's super rare even to glimpse him on a screen. If he's that amazing, that's all the more reason he should come here. Yeah, fair enough. I'm sure that number one could solve this lickety split. The rumors say that once he decides to solve a case, he'll do everything perfectly on his own until it's solved. Yeah, I mean, if it's that important, it must not be that important if he's not doing it, right? Perfectly I mean... on his own? He didn't seem all that impressive to me. Anyway, he's got his hands full on another case right now. He won't be able to leave that behind to visit Kanai Ward. We'll save our trump card for last. Until then, we'll add a few cards to our hand. That's why you all were called here. Wait, where are the others? Ah, at this rate, we'll never have enough hands. Jeez, everyone goes and does their own yeah, thing. Yeah, one's living in fireplaces, time. one just keeps eating chocolate, the other ones. I mean, I don't know. How about using a cell phone? Even if you can't contact the outside world, it'd still be useful in times like these. And no good. Risks the peacekeepers wiretapping you. Okay, Yuma. You're getting your first job. A job? Get the other detectives assembled. I've rented out a special room at a hotel in Kamasaki District. My guess is that they still haven't left the hotel yet. Each master detective is quirky in their own way. Listen, Yuma, your job is to convince them to get over here. <sighs> I'm just thinking that like, I wouldn't be surprised if one of them was already dead. He says it's a job, but he just made you his errand boy. Fine. I'll head to their hotel. Thanks. Remember to avoid the peacekeeper's attention. Okay, if I had to guess the first one to go. Sure, hope you got all that down. The first one to go. Let's think about this. It's probably gonna be the chocolate girl. Either the chocolate one or the other dude, the, the the one with the the short dude with the things on his cheeks. Oh my god, there was a bed right here the whole time. Uh, this is the, oh, the chief's bed. How does he fit on that thing? Come on. Uh, uh, Master gets himself while the fuzz head gets the bed. How is this fair? Well, it, it's the chief's agency, so it makes sense for him to sleep in the bed. That's a small bed. He looks a lot taller. All right, we're going to the riverbank. So is there going to be open worlds? Sort of? Probably not. So 
So your commemorative first job is an errand. Are you sure about this, Mr. Trainee Detective? It's better than hiding out on the sub. By the way, Shinigami, what do you know about number one? Huh? Why do you ask? I was just curious. Wait, you know something, don't you? As if! Don't go thinking I know that either at all. I have standards, you know. Besides, oh, what makes you think I know any humans personally? Mm. I mean, I'm a death god. The only people I need are dead. Anyway, you should scope the city out while on your errand. Who knows? You might uncover Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. I don't think it's that simple. Well, surely she's made different packs with different people. And maybe the pack is only broken. Oh, that, if they either, you know, what? Where? break it or they die. One or the other. There's something amazing over there. Go get it. Hurry. It's a clue. Jinkies. Let's go see what this is. Grab it. Obtain memory shard. Uh, recalls memories with. Okay. Is this a Shigami <laughs> figurine? Why is it here? Don't worry your pretty little head about that. Stressing out about every teensy detail will make you go bald. But if you collect these figurines, look at the what is that? Peek at your memories, master. That freaking uh, sprite is funny looking. Wait, it'll cure my amnesia? No. Nope. I'm afraid everything from before you came to Kanai Ward is still off limits. Oh. What memories can I see then? Your memories with all the detectives in Fuzzhead's agency. You guys talked about all sorts of stuff, right? Um, what did we talk about again? See? You already forgot. You're completely hopeless, Master. If you want to know what you forgot about, then look for these figurines around the city. Well, maybe it is an open world sort of deal. them seems pretty tough, but I'll give it a shot. You can check all your recovered memories in the notebook. You know, the same place you check solution keys. I think I understand. Maybe. Right on! Thinking you maybe understand is perfect. Oh, uh, there is one thing I should warn you about. You won't be able to check these memories while you're unable to move around freely or in a mystery labyrinth. Got it. Shinigami's tutorial mm, class. Kind of weird, check, right? Check. Why is that? All right, I'm gonna view this memory that we have here and see what it's um, all about. Oh, they're like <sighs> whole things. Okay. Something wrong, Chief? What's with the big sigh? Well, it's nothing. Since you arrived and we began investigating Kanai Ward's ultimate secret, it seems we're all tense every day. I think it's just getting to me a bit. I'm confused. Like when? Like this was just. Didn't we just meet this can't dude? seem to find a way to feel all nice and relaxed. I see. Damn it all. I long for the days when things were so uneventful. Before we came here, most of your work concerned infidelity and looking for lost pets, right? Yup. I used to just stare out the window and check whether the occasional client's spouse was cheating or not. I'd tail the target and sure enough, they'd be cheating. Then the missus would end up crying when I reported back. He is the Mori of the city. It was the same old story every day. You were not the father. This may be rude of me, but that doesn't sound very fun. That kind of sounds fun a little bit. I don't know. In fact, it sounds kind of boring. I mean, not for a master detective or sure something, is. or a detective. But you know what they say, every job is equally important. Just because a job may look more glorious, it doesn't mean it's better. Nothing wrong with plain old boring jobs. What's most important is whether you can be proud of what you do. Oh, look at Fuzzhead trying to act all cool. Huh? What's wrong? You felt quiet out of nowhere. He's like, you're not cheating, are you? <laughs> are you cheating on someone? I'm impressed. Um, does it matter? I'll say I'm impressed. I'm so impressed. I just wasn't expecting that kind of stuff from you. I'm a bit moved. Not expecting. What's your image of me anyway? Sorry, but really, I'm impressed. You're right. All jobs are equally important. I'll make sure I keep that in mind. Yeah, you do that. When you hang around master detectives a lot, you start to think you belong to a special class of people. It's true. I hang out with them so much that I was starting to think I was on their level. I better be more careful about this. What do you mean you hang out with them so much? Like, you... 
I, I'm not the only one confused, right, about this? I have a saying when it comes to my own work philosophy. Nothing beats a drink after a hard day's work. I do hear that a lot. Well, it's all bogus anyway. Any time is a good time for booze. A good drink is way better if you get to imbibe without having to work for it. Imbibe? I've never heard that word. What's wrong? You're quiet again. Are you amazed by my grown-up philosophy? I'm sorry, but I need to reconsider how impressed I was just now. <laughs> I'm no what? longer impressed. I can't believe you'd say that so fast. <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown closer. Okay, um... So, what, it's just like an optional backstory, you know, a little, little more details on the characters or something? I'm not sure what the memories are for, but... Alright. Okay, so... Oh, so we have we have some for uh, multiple people. Okay, and then there's hints. Oh, so okay. Well, I think we use the hints and go try to find whatever that is. The iron coffin bed. What if we? Oh, iron coffin bed. Spoilers. Okay, so there's some ex exploration going on. That's kind of cool. I'm telling you though, I was joking about it, but you find the Kentucky Fried Chicken secret recipe, you will be the best detective. Oh, there's a lot of trash here. I wonder if it gets picked up regularly. Hello? Uh, maybe they're not collecting because Fuzzhead's behind the, on his bills. That's very possible. That's a big garbage can. My God. All right, let's get this mystery started, huh? Come on, let's go. Go, go, go. Oh God. Oh, I was like a mystery person. Sorry, we're moving some things here. Can you go around from over here? Yes. Sure. I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. I trust nobody. This place. It's a variety store. There's some questionable bottles lined up though. <laughs> There's candy called raindrops. How crappy. All right, gotta get them detective points. Are you, oh, what's up? Why are you laughing like it on the ground? Head up the stairs. I'm getting, I'm getting some mad stray vibes over here. Oh, oh, is that? You're the same height as me, come here. What was up with that person? They probably don't see outsiders that much. Come on, let's hurry up. Right. Okay, so I I thought originally that the, okay, so that's dude. I'm calling it right now. Um, mmm. Monami, the Monami chick. I bet survived. Like that probably didn't happen. But like that's what I'm thinking. What could it be? Because like she was the only one that was that short, right? Did she actually survive? <laughs> I mean, we found her body, but like, <laughs> why are they hiding her? I'm assuming it's a her. I really don't know. Oh, let's go dumpster diving over here. All this trash has piled up, but nobody's collecting it. it. It's old broken windows theory. A vicious cycle of littering, inviting more littering. Places like this tend to be rough, so watch yourself, master. Uh, you're, you're, did she call me puny arms? I'll be careful. With your puny arms? I gotta go to the gym. Yeah, I was gonna say this gives me stray vibes, right? All right, so it's cool. We have to like look around and stuff, find them clues, get some more backstory. Uh, you've had too much. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's funny. Hey, what do you sell here, huh? Shoe sign. Since we're here, why not pick up a brand new pair of kicks? <laughs> the the boots that uh, the World Detective Organization provided are fairly comfortable. I'll stick with them. Oh, a mystery happened here. I'm assuming. Uh, um. Belligerent man. He's just glaring at us. Not let's not talk to this guy. Right. Oh, what kind of umbrella is this? What the heck? Drone umbrellas? Why do I feel like this is actually going to be a thing in the future? Seriously, that feels like it's going to like cause an accident though. How does that work? That's fancy schmancy stuff there. What the heck? <laughs> kind of cool though. That's more futuristic than the air umbrella that never happened. Yeah, have you guys, you guys know about the air umbrella? It's like... There was like a Kickstarter for it, right? It's like stupid. It's really stupid. It's funny though. Sun and Moon Hotel. All right, this is where we gotta go. Sorry, I just want to explore everything. Hello, Detective Coconut Head here to investigate. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> Do you always hide under something? With Vivia? Oh, Yuma. Good morning. Ohio gozaimasu. Good morning. What are you doing here? Huh? I'm reading a book. The story I'm reading 
was about a boy building a sandcastle on a lake shore with a girl he just met. Many days pass, and the sandcastle still isn't complete. For some reason, it disappears the day after it's made. The protagonist believes there's a reason why that happens. He believes the girl has been secretly destroying the sandcastles at night. So he stays on lookout at night on the lake. And just as he thought, the girl appears. As expected, she destroys the sandcastle and returns home. The protagonist wonders, why she'd do such a thing? Yuma, what do you believe her motive is? Uh-huh. Uh she hates the protagonist. She likes the protagonist, yeah. Maybe she likes the protagonist. I see. If she continues to destroy the sandcastle, mm -hmm. the protagonist see? will return to rebuild it. And they can stay together. As long as they continue to build the sandcastle. It's rather clumsy, but quite a laudable effort by the girl. She could just ask him to come again tomorrow instead. That solution is quite romantic. It's very like you to say that, Yuma. How do you know what I'm like? Hmm. So what's the real reason? <clears throat> the real reason? It doesn't say anything about that. You must imagine the girl's reasoning for yourself. That's what stories are all about. Just as you brought up this question, the protagonist also tries to find the truth by chasing after the girl. But he loses sight of her in the darkness. However, it's a singular path with no other way to go. Normally, it'd be impossible to lose sight of someone there. The moonlight shines over the lake at the end of the path. And there, at the lake, the protagonist notices something. The sight of the girl facing away from him, disappearing into the lake. Huh? I don't like this story, it's protagonist sad. protagonist recalls a story about a girl who drowned at the lake years ago. Oh, this is, um, I read about this fairly recently. It's a urban legend. Uh, well, at least it sounds like one. No, maybe it's not the one I'm thinking of, but there's a very similar one. And it's like a, um, I want to say it's like a Mexican urban legend or something like that. I can't remember the name of it, but it's about like this girl, the mother that drowned her children. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? It's like a pretty famous thing. Almost like a long forgotten memory. He checks old newspapers finds a picture of her in the photo she looks like she's smiling directly oh, at that's him. some creepy stuff though isn't it beautiful oh. this guy probably has no friends <laughs> uh, this is uh the e-boy by the way vivia chief yako asked for you at the office oh is it that time already tell the chief i'll be there all right yeah, he's not going anywhere. Just look at him. He has Tell zero him. intention of getting out. Tell him I'll be there. Oh, also, do you know where the others are? Maybe the restaurant? They should still be eating breakfast right now. The restaurant. Got it. I'll check it out. <sighs> I want to die someday. Seek some help. Bro, I was joking when I said the emo thing. My god. Okay, um, hello. Hey, rookie. <clears throat> What's up? You here for breakfast, too? Good morning, Yuma. Sounds good. Good morning. Um, it's way past our meeting time. Huh? Are we late? Impossible. As if I would permit time to ever overtake me. <laughs> My vision is quite sharp, you know. Um, I have no idea what you're talking about, but... That's not an excuse for being late. Oh, she's not making excuses. This is just how she is. Listen, Rookie, I bet you're here just because Chief told you to find us. But you've yet to realize one crucial fact. Think about it. Everyone besides you and the Chief are staying at this hotel. It'd be faster to bring the Chief over here, right? Now that you mention it, yes. Don't be convinced so easily. <laughs> anyway. You should bring the chief here. I mean, he makes a good point. What am I going to say? In no way. For all we know, the peacekeepers could be around. The meeting may even be about planning out operations. Yeah, so probably not a good idea. To have it at the office. I agree with you, Ma. What, you, of all people, are saying that now? Oh, jeez, fine. Tell the chief I'll be there after my post-meal soda. I will also be there Soda? Did you say soda? 
I have to chew well to promote good digestion. So this will take some time. My God. It's so annoying when people just don't care about time. By the way, uh, uh, I doubt anyone in the world can hang out with that one. I was going to offer an invitation to join us for breakfast, but the room was already empty. I'm sure Halara's around somewhere. Probably hustling kids out of their money. Looks like we Is have that what she to does? Do Let's... Okay, interesting. So far, these characters are very interesting. Um, oh, I gotta talk to you again. Hey. Hey, Yuma, I've got a favor to ask you. Huh? I, I can already tell you right now, this is gonna- everyone's favorite character is gonna be- be him. For sure. Yeah. Like, I just- I just know how it is. I know you all too well. I really do. <laughs> There's a book I really want to read, but I haven't been able to find a copy. It's called The Crow and the Dove. Survival of the Fittest in World Salvation. <sighs> That's one heck of a title. Right. It's the tragic story of a crow battling a dove in order to justify its existence. In the end, the two turn the world into a wasteland. Sure. Doesn't that sound a bit dull? Uh, you think so? Hey. If you happen to find the book, I was hoping you'd bring it to me. Because... As you can see, I'm pretty busy here. Uh, you sure don't look it. Well, look for it if you're so inclined. Uh, I'll just uh, take it easy and wait here. Uh, His blatant laziness is almost refreshing. Uh, All right. Oh, you might see uh, so side missions, basically. If you progress to the chapter without completing a request, it'll stay unsolved. Okay, so, so yeah, before we continue on, we can just do all the missions. All right. All right, we got to do the filler content, guys. I want to learn about these worlds. And, and besides, I mean, for now, all we can do is play till chapter four, right? Or I think till the end of chapter four. So I don't know how many chapters are in this game, but I want to make this last. If that makes any sense. Uh, do you have a book? Could you spare a second? Uh, what's the matter? This is fed up man. Uh, some guy was trying to push this weird book on me. I told him no, but he was so pushy. I don't think he has a quota or anything, but if he was real, he was real persistent. I'm getting really annoyed just thinking about it. I had a really long name to you, Crow something. Wow, what are the what are the odds? Maybe. Uh, okay. Um, where did you run to that person? Well, if you take the street down uh, Ginma District and turn left at the bar, you'll find him. I better stay away though. He was very persistent. Thanks for the advice. Detective Coconut Head is on the case. I mean, the first place I would check is the library, but that's just me. I'm not a detective. Oh, drain? Oh! Looks like all the rainwater from the district uh, drains Aww. here. Why don't they let it drain in the river instead of the city? Jeez, whoever designed this place must be pretty dense. Isn't it how it usually is like, like, uh, water, like, in a lot of, like, stories like this tends to drain in the poor places? You know what I mean? Alright. Hey, I'm looking for a book. Oh, uh, that new book comes out today, doesn't it? I'll have to pick it up later after work. Book-loving man. This is my favorite character right here. I gotta say, you guys don't know the lore behind the book-loving man, but it's great. It's really great. Now that I think about it, the bookstore order said he had the older edition too. Maybe I'll get both. Speaking of which... Vivi asked me to buy a book for him earlier. Yeah. Maybe I should ask this guy about it. He seems like he knows Excuse a lot. Excuse me. I'm looking for a book. Oh, you like books too. In that case, you should get yourself at the Kamasaki District Bookstore. Oh, this sounds like an ad. They have books from all over the world there. It's anyone's guess how they got their hands oh. on them. That sounds amazing! It's at the top of the stairs. Well, that's convenient. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's go. Are you lost? Oh, okay. I thought you were going to talk to me or something like that. Oh, why did I think that was the door? That's not the door. We can get coops here. This is... This, uh, book seems to be made of waterproof material. That's probably true for a lot of the stuff produced at Kanai Ward. Some pages have been painted completely black, though. I have no idea what it's saying. Well? Maybe it's Amaratsu, uh, Amatsu... Wow. Amaterasu, uh, censorship because it was stuff critical of them. You over there looking to, s to buy something? <laughs> what are you buying? I deliver too. Help me out huh? here. I deal in all kinds of goods. Sales have been slow lately, so why not buy something? Aww. How are you going to get out of this one? Actually, I don't have much money. I'll just take a look. Yeah, that don't cost a thing. Come on, just one look. I got uh, food, daily necessities, and loads of books. Hmm? Books, you say? Come to think of it, wasn't Vivia looking for a book? How many times are you going to say that? Like, uh, wait, you know what? I do remember someone wanted a book for the 50th time. Oh, it was Survival of the Fittest, was it not? Arrival of the Hippest? Surf Idol Plays Cricket? Oh, that sounds like the, the book. 
um, world salvation, was it not? Hey, I got that one stuck. Uh, nice taste you got there. This one's a real cult classic. Huh? Really? Yeah, it's a good one, but not too popular. Been having trouble moving it. Gonna take one off my hands. Then... Uh, please, I'd like it to be delivered to the person sleeping under the piano at the hotel. Under the piano at the hotel? Well, whatever. So I just gotta get money from him? Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Guess that means I fulfilled Vivia's request. Come on. Uh, not yet, Master. You have yet to make sure the book reaches its destination. True. Can't we just go give it to him? Like... Just go give it to him. Like, why? Why you have it delivered? It's literally like two feet away. Coconut head, you don't make any sense. All right, got your book. Hey. Hey. A shopkeeper just came by with the book. You're, amazing. You're the one who sent him, right? Thanks. Well? Yes, did you read it already? Hmm. Yeah, it was uh, wonderful. That's nice. Bro, what is time in this in this game? Like, you read the book already? Are you, the, is that your power? Like, I'm so confused. Flying through the air would be amazing. Right. I wonder if I could live free like a crow, just soar through the skies boundlessly. No. Just don't jump off a building or anything, okay? Mm. Right, I was considering it. It seems the book has an impact on me. That's nice. Truly a wonderful read. Thank you, Yuma. Very interesting. Very interesting. It was very important that we get that book. Apparently. Hey, did you hear about the clock tower case at Gima District? I heard it's the nail man again. Yeah, the culprit was already caught. There were a bunch of peacekeepers. It was a big deal. No way! The nail man was caught? What did he look like? Nail man? They mentioned a case. <laughs> a case already! The city is just as wonderful as the rumors say! It happened at the clock tower in a place called Ginma District! Let's go see! But we have to find Halara first. Denied! I can't wait a second longer! <laughs> she can just yank him. This color works here too? <laughs> yep, until this world ends. Could you imagine everyone just staring at him like stumbling? What is wrong with you? Oh god, he's literally actually being pulled. Hey, I can't... I, I'm not controlling this. Well, this is one way to make the game like force you to go somewhere. It's funny. It's a cool looking city though. How are you gonna have an outside place and not have any umbrellas? Knowing full oh, well that there's nothing but rain. So this is Gima District. We got here by just wandering around. Wait, you didn't know where you were going? It feels different from Kamasaki District. It's still raining as usual, but the area looks high class and luxurious. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. Not just the buildings, the people too. Everyone looks totally rich. Crazy different from the poors we saw back there. See, I was right. The the water drains okay, down to the poor, poor people. people. All the poors have deranged personalities. I think it depends on the person. So where's the clock tower that incident happened at? Like I said, we need to find Halara first. Listen, Master. As your mentor, I'll teach you something important. Detectives prioritize investigations above all else, more than your parents or nature's call itself. You can't even use the all bathroom? Right, fine, I'll go. Guess I'll ask around first. Don't forget this stuff. Basically, the bus can be used to travel to places you already visited. Wow. However, depending on Master's situation... Okay, so we can use a bus. What's this? Such a Guys love question. dinosaurs! I mean, they're kind of cool. I ain't gonna lie. Wow. A dinosaur fossil? It's so cool. It. We should extract its DNA and recreate it. Even if we could, we need to stop and ask if we, uh, we should. <laughs> Don't create a Jurassic Park situation, okay? Public notice. Uh, Currently closed. I guess it's our day off. Maybe they locked it up because the Phantom Thief is coming. We gotta catch them. The Phantom Thief? Uh, what should I do? If something happened to my baby, I'm sure she's fine, probably. Kind looking woman. Looks like they have a problem. Master, what do you want to do? Yeah. I can't just ignore them. Let's hear what they have to say. Okay, I don't know. I just, it was a green, so I looked at it. Uh, Is something wrong? Our child suddenly vanished. Huh? That's a lost kid? Boring. Our little girl was spirited away. I just know it. Hmm? Spirited away? Uh, th that's a great movie, by the way. That's an interesting combination of words. Um, uh, what does being spirited away mean? There's been a rumor spreading through Kamasaki District. Children are just suddenly disappearing. They're so, like lax about this they're so chill for their child child be gone 
Even though you never let them out of your sight, they're just gone in an instant or spirited away. It seems like uh, none of the other kids who have been spirited away have returned. Oh, please, let her be safe. Uh, where did you last year? Oh, maybe this has to do with the, the nail dude. It was a Kamasaki, Kamasaki district. We were shopping together. I'm so worried if something happened to her. I have other things I need to be doing, but... Um, I guess I'll help find the child. Yeah. It's probably related anyway. You two wait here. Thank you so much. This is a photo of our girl. She's wearing the same clothes today, so this might help you recognize her. I'm begging you, please find her baby. So, like, this just happened? You're literally just standing here. Like, you can... Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just love pointing out things. Okay. Teru, Teru Bozu looks miserable. Probably not much fun being uh, hanged by the neck. Yeah, this has something to do with weather, right? I actually just recently learned about this. I think. I could be wrong about that. Meat buns! Oh, yeah, they keep talking about meat buns. Everyone likes the meat buns here. So these are the famous Amaterasu meat buns, apparently made by this dude. Hmm? Uh, could that thing be the clock tower? No doubt about it. Let's take a look, master. Wait, did I? Am I supposed to like find that girl? They didn't even give me. They didn't even give me the the clothes or the picture of the girl. Mom said I shouldn't go there because something bad happened. Oh, it's got it's got voice she acting. Said if I don't listen to her, the nail man will get me. Ooh, I told you it's connected. Where did she say to avoid? The clock tower down this path. Up ahead. All right. Hmm. Guys, you think we should check out the clock tower? Bad vibes nowadays. Yes. Oh, hey, a memory. Recall memories with Fu Fubuki from the notebook. Fubuki? Who the heck is Fubuki? Oh, your name's Fubuki. Okay, I'm gonna come back to this. I kind of just want to get to the mystery. I'm assuming, um, Hal what's her name? Halera? Halera, right? Is that the name? Is uh, researching. There's a big clock tower nearby. That's where my friends are usually play. But something happened, and the peacekeepers ran us off. I'm so bored. I think I should try being more eco-conscious. Sure. Maybe you should try being more ego-conscious. <laughs> you want me to be more <laughs> more libido-conscious? That's not what I said. She's always got to make dirty jokes out of everything. Oh my God. Get your mind out of the gutter, Shinigami. Come on. They said the nail man got caught, but how's that? What? The serial, serial killer? killer? Oh, sorry. Killer. I didn't know they were talking. So, what's this nail man guy like? Is his face covered with nails? He's not called nail man because he's covered in them, idiot. Didn't you hear about the nails all over the crime scene? Nails all over the crime scenes? So it was another locked room mystery, right? Yeah, that's what I heard. of exciting phrases, one after another. I just might start drooling. Master, let's hurry and check it out. We can't. It's already sealed off by the peacekeepers. I can't wait any longer. Hey. <laughs> oh, uh, good morning. Who are you? Um, did something happen here? The place is off limits to outsiders. Get lost. Sorry. Well, what was the point of that? Why are you <coughs> so quick to back down? You're so pathetic. I know, but take a look around. There's no way I can get any closer. Don't tell me to push my way through the peacekeepers. I don't want them setting their sights on me. Besides, the murderer has already been caught. There's no point in me getting involved. And you call yourself a detective? A detective will always crave more info about the crime. It's a locked room mystery. You should be crapping your pants with excitement right now. Mm. No, I shouldn't. Besides, I'm not even a proper detective. Master, don't tell me you're worried about being a trainee. It's more like I just don't get it. Why am I even trying to become a detective? I mean, will I ever regain my memories? Without them, I don't know how to feel about working at the Nocturnal Detective Agency. Master, what's important isn't your past, it's your future. I mean, you're the reason this happened to me in the first place, Shinigami. Well, if you're so fixated on the past, why don't you follow in the footsteps of your past self? What do you mean? Aim to become a detective as a trainee. If you aim for the same destination, all paths will eventually lead to one place. Which means that one day, 
You should understand how your past self felt. I get the feeling you're just saying that so I'll do what you want me to. Besides, how am I supposed to try to become a detective? Through investigating cases, obviously. So, let's scope out that clock tower. How about it, future detective? Yeah, you're just trying to make me do whatever you want. Oh, fine. For now, I'll ask around about what happened. Maybe this case has something to do with Kanai Ward's ultimate secret. That's the spirit! Miss Dearful! Hmm. So are we gonna have to, like, sneak in there, I'm, I'm guessing? Oh, I guess there's more clues that we need to look at. Uh, pardon me, but it seems like something happened at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Oh, yeah. I saw the peacekeepers take away the culprit. Huh? You saw who it was? They apprehended a man wandering around the clock tower. He had a lot of weapons on him. Oh, it's not gonna be the Among culprit. Them was a hammer, so he's the culprit for sure. After all, they say the nail man always carries a hammer and nails wherever he goes. He was wandering around the clock tower while carrying a hammer. That sure does sound suspicious. I mean, yeah, but that doesn't mean he is the nail man what you should be worried about is chainsaw man hey sir have you taken any trips to the hardware store do you like hammers excuse me i heard that the criminal called the nail man was caught really that's big news i better tell everyone so who is this nail man what you don't know i'm sure you've at least heard about it sounds like they're saying mailman He's the mysterious nail man, Kanai Ward's most famous urban legend. Urban legend? Sorry, I haven't heard of it. Oh? Imagine they caught they caught you the wrong one. Lucky then. They caught the mailman, not the nail man. It, it's, it's... <laughs> Have you ever felt the urge to kill someone while going through your day? Whoa, dude! Gossip loving man, you should be called sus man. The nail man can make that wish come true. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill. I gotta say, he looks cool though. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or so the legend goes. Oh, that's kind of crazy. Whoever is Look killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. It's even stained with pink. stories but that's just an urban legend it was until six months ago for the past six months corpses kept turning up covered in nails people were in an uproar talking about how the nail man is real but now he's been caught what kind of person would want to copy the nail man you must have a screw loose or something I see what you did there a killer from an urban legend how creepy Look, master on my body are standing on end. You got no hair. But you don't have any hair. <laughs> uh, if you say the mailman three times in the mirror, he appears to deliver your mail. Don't try it. It's scary. Oh, what do you want? Um, there seems oh, to this have is been part of the thing. Sort of incident at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? And also, where do I get oh, that umbrella? My, really? Such troubled times we live in. It's that man again, right? I've heard there were numerous cases. You mean the nail man? That's the one! There was a commotion not too long ago. Where did it happen again? Hmm, the museum or the art gallery? In any case, I'm glad he's been caught. I'd heard there were no clues at the crime scenes because they all occurred in locked rooms with no way in or out. Phew, I'm so relieved. Probably uses nails to the nail them in way, there. Who are you? some nerve talking to me as if you know me what why are you so rude chatty lady oh, sorry i guess that's all the info you can extract from these snooty people seriously still i think i get the gist of it these nail man cases are based off an urban legend they started six months ago a similar case happened at the clock tower today but a suspect was apprehended that's about it there's nothing else for me to know those cases they all happened in locked rooms right i haven't seen any locked room mysteries yet give it to me i want it now i i doubt we can see the scene of the crime let's just head back come on 
just a peek. Let's check out the clock tower one last time. Just one look, okay? You're the best detective. The president of our company. No, of our nation. <sighs> What's happening? Oh, the clock tower. What's gonna happen? I swear, if I go to that clock tower and I see the mailman, I'm gonna be so scared. It's saying it wants me to go in. Oh. Oh God, who's that? Mm -hmm. Something's up. Oh, it's that kid. Excuse me. What the? Are you okay? Can you stand up? Come on, let's go. Hey, wait! I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, he said he didn't want to get involved. What do I do? You jumped in here without a plan? I couldn't help it. What were you thinking? You just doomed yourself. You're under arrest by the peacekeepers. If you resist, enforcement measures will be taken against you. Listen, you have no right to remain silent. You have no right to a lawyer. That doesn't seem fair. Oh, I see a memory. Please, listen to me. Put both hands on your head and get down. Any other action will be seen as resistance. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah. they do. They have like a betting thing, huh? That's like their, their odds. Oh, dang. Holy crap! Then they got the moves. Whew. All right, don't mess with you. Alora. Thank you, Alora. A reckless sense of justice isn't even worth a single coin. This could have cost your life. Remember that. R right. All right, Halar is kind of cool. That's some impressive athleticism. Not like you, Master. Uh, um. Hey, are you okay? Please, my dad needs help. Please, get my dad back from them. Huh? You get your dad back? What do you mean? My dad was arrested by peacekeepers for what happened at the clock tower. They say he's the culprit. Oh, dang. Wait, that's your dad? But he was here to repair the clock tower. He has nothing to do with what That happened. would explain the hammer. So, your dad is innocent, but he's being framed as the mailman? My dad would never murder anyone. He has no reason to. So please, please, get my dad back from them. Boy, you're still talking. So you want us to prove your father's innocence. Is okay. that an assignment? Assignment? Y yes. I figured you could do it since you took them down so easily. How much do you have ready? Huh? <laughs> How much money you, you got, kid? Money? I don't work for cheap. I will fulfill a job no matter what it takes. I have the mind and strength to make it possible. However, if you want my help, you will need to prove your resolve. I don't have any money. All, all I can offer is this. Is that a ball? My dad and I played catch together Aww. all the time. My most prized possession. Come on, you gotta do it. That's all he got is a ball. Does Hilara have a heart? Oh, wow. Maybe. Uh, hey. Out of the question. So she takes it anyway. Hilara, uh, wait. You're not going to accept his request? Why should I? The only way to decipher someone's mind is to see how many chips they put on the table. If they cannot offer a fitting amount of money to prove their resolve to me, they might as well not even exist. Big talk for someone who's all about the money. What kind of demon would try to take money from a little kid? I'm a deaf god though, so I sure ain't one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he 
Not offer enough? The ball itself may not be worth much, but the sentimental value it represents is priceless. If you think so, then you should take on the job. Huh? Me? Or perhaps you're going to make the assignment on that boy's behalf. I don't work for cheap. Uh, how much do you charge? Hmm. Preliminary oh estimates my God. market at around 5 million shien. Shien? shien? Is that currency? How much is that? It's enough to purchase a luxury car. So probably around two hundred thousand dollars, or I mean, I, I'm not gonna go a into it. It's stupid. <laughs> I'm just thinking, huh, how much is a luxury a luxury car? By the way, even though I'm amazing, I can't create human money out of thin air. Hmm. I'll be at the cafe nearby. Come see me once you've made up your mind. You will need my help eventually. And when you do, call on a detective named Halara Nightmare. Huh. Put the bat so signal out. What'll you do, Master? Honestly, I would call I would call them. My god, those skills though. Well, I have to do this myself. What? Are you sure you can handle it? Though I don't care, as long as I can scope out locked room mysteries. Hey, leave your dad to me. He'll be fine. I hope. He probably will be. It definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. what you want someone on the job to say. Wait, are you confident or not? Thank you. Please save my dad. Looks like my master made up his mind. Now, let's take a peek at the crime scene. But the peacekeeper's gone. Now's our chance to strike. <coughs> Wait, before that. Hmm. Wow, it's the clock tower murder report. This is a great find. What was that? Wow. Just as I thought, the details of the case are on here. Oh, wow. We have the. Okay. Uh. Okay. Clock tower search for a uh, female aged 20 to 30s. Oh, the victim. Identity to be confirmed. Estimated the time of death unknown. Time of discovery approximately 7 a.m. The body was found around 7 a.m. And it's a little past 8 a.m. right now. So it's only been an hour since the body was first found. No wonder things are so hectic. The body may even still be there. Another body. Anyway, Master, there's more to that report, right? First on scene, clerk clergy member and several peacekeepers. There was a report of a suspicious person behind the church. The victim was discovered during the investigation. The murder suspected being related to the nail man killings. A suspicious person behind the church, but the area behind the church is... All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. That's where the forest to summon the nail man is located. They pursued someone they thought was the mailman and found the body. The door was locked from the inside of the scene of the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. Is there no other entrances? It, entrances? It seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the mailman's modus there operandi. so excited sounds like the nail man was framing somebody Does the nail man turn his crime scenes into locked rooms like this every time a phantom who vanishes like smoke in a room with no way in or out just the thought of it makes me drool nah there's got to be a floorboard uh i printed a suspicious individual near the clock tower suspect was found multiple hammers believed to have been used in the crime I mean, come on, like, it's not the only person to use a hammer. Uh, Jai colon 48. Occupation unknown. Suspect Canadian claims to be repairing the clock. No witnesses or alibis. The peacekeeper's current investigation suspects him to be the nail man. Communicates only the information found in the reports of the media. Okay. The peacekeepers captured some dude and assumed he's the nail man. You gotta search the crime scene yourself to find the truth. Yeah, maybe you're right. You finally getting into it? Took you long enough to warm up. Now let's go. The scene of the crime is the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. 
Yeah, let's hurry. Before the peacekeepers wake up, you should go hide someplace safe. I'll be right back once I check inside. All right. Now off to the clock tower we Did you see that? I swear this dude just stood up. <laughs> it's like the models loaded in all weird or something like that. That was funny. Aww. Getting cold feet, Master? You said you'd handle things, but you're running away? I'm just literally checking, yeah. Oh, there's a gate. Rusty fence. Aww. It's completely rusted. There's a lock on it, and it doesn't seem like there's a way through. Why not just go, gah, kick it down? I definitely can't do that. No, but I want that memory. All right, in we go. Oh, dang. Come on, let's go. Go, go, go. I'm going. Shut up. Yep, yep. Use the stairs so you don't get fat. <laughs> yep. All right. You can do it, master. Ah, she's cheering us on. in the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower so it should be right behind the store god what are we gonna see there may be a corpse still in there you've already seen plenty of corpses on the amaterasu express now hurry it up that doesn't mean i want to see any more all right i'm just gonna take my face away i know it's gonna show something to be honest until i opened that door none of it felt very real to me I've been treating the case as if it was something that happened to someone else long ago. But the moment I opened the door, all of my delusions vanished in an instant. Oh, so creepy. The pink blood is still here, baby. Oh. So why was it what red before? Is this? Is that a real corpse? It's not some mannequin, is it? This blood is real? How? Why? Jeez, it's just some freakish, gruesome murder scene. Get it together. What? As your mentor, let me just say that you'll come across this stuff all the time as a detective. So don't be scared. Investigate. Hurry, before the peacekeepers come back. Shinigami, you don't feel anything after seeing this body? Uh, you're asking me how I feel about death? Well, let me tell you, this is totally ordinary. This ordinary? It's absolutely abnormal. It's normal for it to be abnormal. You're dealing with a murder case in a city like this. You can either accept it or go insane. Blood is just a liquid, a body is just an object. Got it? Now take a look around before someone gets in your way. Chop chop! <sighs> Fine. You're right. I should hurry before the peacekeepers return. Yep. Now let's start <laughs> the investigation. Yep. Um, I know oh, that. Also, any clues you find during your search will be recorded by yours truly. Um, cops, first responders, and people that deal with stuff like this, you have to develop. Some of them, it, even though it sounds messed up, they they develop this kind of twisted sense of humor, where they'll they'll make jokes about it just to kind of disconnect yourself from, you know, maybe the the reality of what it is because you're dealing with it all the time. You can't get your emotions involved in it and so yeah some people will cope with it in certain it ways like that all materialize once you get to the mystery labyrinth later i don't want to go back there anymore someone will die once the mystery is solved <laughs> you are so naive having sympathy for the criminal you're catching 
Blood place is suspicious. All right, let's look. Investigation time. All right, so this is our first mystery afoot here. I'm sure this is going to link to other stuff and, you know, it'll all make sense, but it's our first juicy mystery. Okay, God, I, last time, like, I thought I knew, I didn't know, and I really want to figure yep, this out. It's a I mean, I don't really know what are we trying to exactly figure out, what, like, how we escaped, like, so, I don't know, let's, let's keep going. I guess I'll have to search the body, huh? The moment we've all been waiting for. You're lucky you got here before they took it away, aren't ya? I can't stomach calling myself lucky when I think about the victim. This is definitely a real corpse, not a doll. I don't know who this woman is. The Peacekeeper report didn't include any details. But no matter who she is, she didn't deserve this. Cut the chatter, Master! Hurry, hurry! This is terrible. The body is covered in nails pinning her to the floor. What's this? There's a mark on the neck. Mm -hmm. It looks like a rope burn. The vertical scratch marks were made by the victim as she struggled. A victim usually ends up with marks like this when they thrash around while getting strangled by a rope. That's fairly typical when it comes to strangulation victims. Seen it a bunch of times. So she was killed by strangulation? The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. Hmm. I wonder why. They didn't investigate at all! They got the chance to see a corpse up close, and they blew it! It's almost like they didn't want to In investigate case, it. Finding out the cause of death is huge. Cause of death. Death. The cause of death. Okay, um... If the cause of death was strangulation, then what's the point of the nails? We must ask ourselves this question. So this is the only window. They've installed shutters instead of glass. The shutters look new despite the building's old age. It must have been added later on. Seems like automatic. The window's big enough for someone to fit through. The door was locked from the inside the scene of the crime. The only uh, window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. And there are no entrances. It seemed to be a completely locked room that matches the nail man's modulus or operandi. The, report, the shutters were already closed at the time of discovery. So they've been left alone like this. Well, hey, how about you try opening them? It seems operated, I mean, clearly it. mechanical, locked. right? Were the shutters locked when the body was discovered? How do we open them? Maybe there's a secret password or something. No, I don't think it's a password. Hey, there's a latch on the left side. I think I can move it. And they didn't figure this out on their own? All right, it opened. The latch was pretty light. It can be easily adjusted. It's rather high up. It's above the third floor on most buildings. Okay, so if it's not automatic, then how did they close it? It's impossible to jump off from here. Even if you tried climbing down, there's nothing to hold on to out. You can see the big clock above, but there's nothing really suspicious here. Huh. Hmm, it'd be difficult for the culprit to get in and out from here. What are your guys' theories already? I already know the comments are brewing mysteries. What's that sound? All kinds of theories. Oh, it's locked again. Oh, so they can close it and it locks automatically. still playing with the shutters you want to be friends with them no that's not it now it won't go down hmm? I get it this shutter stops once it goes all the way up but when set halfway it's designed to fall down with its own weight and if it goes all the way down it automatically locks I don't get it, but you're really fixated on these shutters. I'll make them a solution key for you. Just in case you open a shutter shop one of these days. <laughs> Freaking Yuma and his shutters. Hmm? There's something under the window. What's that? Did you find something interesting? Something under the window, you say? The bottom of the window is wet. That's because the window is open. Maybe some rain got in when you opened the window earlier. No, the parts starting to dry are leaving stains. This didn't get wet just now. 
Then maybe it's the tears from the nailed dolls. <laughs> no more horror stuff. More dolls? Here too? These two are lined up and nailed together. Huh? What's this? A yellow thread is attached to the nail in the doll. Okay, so maybe that's how they got down. Um, that's probably how they got down by attaching something to the dolls. On a closer look, it seems the thread left marks on the nail. What could it mean? Hmm, this is suspicious. You should remember this. Yeah, they nailed that there, tied ropes to it. It's next to the window, and they got down. But how did they get the nails, or how did they get the rope out? That's the new question we have. Doll on the wall. There are dolls nailed all over the walls and... What a ghastly sight. All the dolls here look antique. They're looking at me as if they're full of hate. It would have taken a ton of time to do all this by hand. Why would the culprit go to the trouble to do this? Maybe it's to link it back to the urban legend about the nail man. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill... Mm -hmm. Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. Those are like railroad spikes rather than the nails. Go through so much trouble to imitate an urban legend. Or maybe it's the real nail man. <laughs> now I'm scared. I told you I'm not good with occult and horror stuff. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. Still going with my thing. Okay, so we know that there could be stuff that we can explore, but yet it won't say anything about it. So, anything else that looks kind of weird? Like this random pile of nails here? I mean, if there was some kind of rope, right, that went, that was attached to possibly these nails over here, that could have something to do with this, you know, the marks on the victim, clearly. But other than the thread on the nails, there's no sign of rope. So she couldn't have done it herself because the rope would have to be taken away after the scene was done. So somehow they were able to retrieve this rope for them to get down and then also close that at the same time. Wooden box. What's up? You know. Okay, there's a clue. It's covered in dust. There's no evidence. It was moved. It's probably not relevant, right? Let's look somewhere else. So why would you have me look at that? Huh? It's kind of weird. Yo, is the person inside the wooden box right now? Open it up! What's up? You know... I thought there might be a clue related to the case. It's covered in dust. There's no evidence it was moved. It's probably not relevant, right? Nah, the nail man's in this box! That would be stupid, right? But, like... Maybe there's a trap door under this? I don't know. Okay, I'm trying to see if there's anything else that I think looks interesting. But that definitely looks big enough to hide something. Whether it's a person or a door. What else is there to check? Oh, wait, I'm not done checking? Really? Oh, the door itself, I think. This is the only door in the room. The lock is broken. They say the door was locked from the inside when the body was discovered. That must mean the peacekeepers broke the lock to get inside. So the inner lock is the type where you turn a latch. There's a keyhole on the okay. outside of the door, but it's filled up and rusted. This didn't happen recently. It may have been like this way before the incident. Hey, why is the keyhole plugged? They might have figured it was unnecessary. The inner lock is probably left over from when the room needed both locks. Either way, it doesn't seem like we can open it with a duplicate key or anything. There's no gap when the door is closed. It'd be hard to tamper with it. The only way to unlock this door is to turn the latch from inside. Okay. Not sure what that tells us yet. Alright, formulate your opinions right now because, yeah, I don't know what else it could possibly be. I mean, it seems pretty straightforward already, but we'll have to figure out more. Alright, we'll go ahead and need it for that now. should do it for the investigation for now. Yeah, I get it. Without a doubt, this murder crime scene is... A locked room mystery! It's an impossible crime! The door was locked from the inside, and the only window had shutters that were also locked. 
Well, it's obviously they locked it on, you know, uh, you know, on, on automatically sort of. What are you doing? I'm taking in this luscious loft room atmosphere. <laughs> anyway, let's leave before the peacekeepers come. They just cause more trouble for us. Huh? Oh, right. Finished. Well, that was fast. Which, what's this ladder over here? Should we take a look? You're darn right. There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about it. I think that kid said his dad was here to fix the clock. Oh, so that's the clock. Was he about to head back home after fixing it? Or maybe he was just about to start fixing it. Well, that proves his innocence, right? He couldn't get inside. Probably doesn't matter either way. Nothing matters to me besides the locked room mystery. Well, I'll think about it later. Let's leave this place for now. You're telling me we're not going to go up there and look? Okay. Oh, it's you. Over here. You are not hiding. Huh? What's the matter? What's up? Find a body or something? Over here. Oh. Oh, oh there's a way that? back here. We're using the same voice line. It's funny. While you were checking the clock tower, I took a look around the building, and I found these. Uh oh. Footprints. Footprints, eh? Maybe these belong to the culprit. What? The culprit? I'm not sure. Let's check. There are a set of footprints on the wet ground near the wall. Ooh. I'm caught. Maybe the reason why it was wet is because the window was kind of always open. Nobody, maybe nobody knew that because you couldn't go in the room, right? So maybe there was a rope dangling from those nails, um, all along. But then, huh? How would they get a person in there? But okay, maybe they climbed a rope. Heel portion. The only thing I can discern is that they weren't sneakers. They could be loafers, but the footprints seem strange. Oh? What's strange about them? Look, the footprints are facing the wall. This looks like whoever made them was walking toward the wall. <laughs> You're saying the guy disappeared through the wall? We're dealing with wall-facing man now? <laughs> First the nail man, and now the No, he clearly climbed he climbed something. And the end right under that window. Is this just a coincidence? Or does it have something to do with the murder? Um, what do you think? Are these the footprints of the real culprit? Hmm, well, to be honest, there's not much I can say with just this. At the very least, I hope I can prove the footprints aren't his father's. He's gotta compare the shoes. Hey, what kind of shoes does your dad usually wear? Huh? His shoes? He usually wears sneakers. He was wearing them today. Does he ever wear loafers? Sometimes, but not usually. Don't even say that. He would be one thing if he didn't own a single pair of loafers. But I can't rule him out yet. Still, I wouldn't want to waste the kid's discovery of these footprints. Mm, in that case, I'll remember it for you. So, do you think you can find the real culprit? Yeah, I think. Maybe. I might need a little more time, though. I see. Oh, but don't worry. I'll find a way. Thank you. I know he's worried about his dad. If he really is innocent, I want to prove it. While I'm at it, maybe I should ask him more about his father. Um, did you notice anything different about your dad this morning? Um... My dad went out late last night to work on the clock, so I didn't see him this morning. You okay? He's sounding pretty sus, though. He was out since last night. I hate to say it, kid. So I think your dad's the, the mailman. That's his job. His job is to repair clocks? He doesn't just repair them. He also sells them. Watches and wall clocks, too. Oh, so he's a watchmaker. Wait, 
Wait, the peacekeeper report said its occupation hmm. was unknown. Yeah. Maybe it's more convenient for them if they intend to declare him as the culprit of the nailman murders. Oh, he's getting framed as the culprit. They made up their minds and dropped the investigation. It did seem like that way. They didn't really look into it. Did this clock tower? No, he only checks on that clock once a year. But yesterday, mm -hmm. he got an urgent request to fix it. Urgent, you say? The clock wasn't keeping time, so he was called to repair it. My dad is usually happy to repair any clock, but he always grumbles about how much he hates the clock tower. He hates it? Because he's afraid of heights. He's scared of even climbing up the clock tower. But he bites the bullet and does his work without looking outside. A fear of heights. He's afraid of climbing the clock tower and refrains from looking outside, so it sounds serious. Master, you're improving so much thanks to my training. <laughs> you're even getting better at pretending to think. Pretending? I'm not pretending. I'm serious here. Okay, so seems like that kind of clears him too. He's afraid of heights. Hmm? I hear noise outside. I hear talking. Maybe those guys woke up. Let's take a look. If all the peacekeepers wake but up, first, they'll be sure to pay you back for this. You gotta get this. Oh, that's for Halara? Okay, we'll look at that later. What's going on over here? Oh god, okay, we got our first villain here. Or is that Halara? Can't tell. Okay, that's Everyone, a villain. Everyone, please wake up. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section Chief Seth Burrows. It's Seth Rogan. You're late. <laughs> please wake up. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section I don't think Section that thing's turned Chief on, man. Seth you gotta turn it on. <laughs> it's no use. Oh, it wasn't turned on. Hurry and wake up. <laughs> oh, God. Everyone, listen closely. What the heck? How does he travel his voice like that? It appears there are fools in town who do not comprehend the majesty of the peacekeepers. Many of them have been eliminated already, but I've heard some outsiders have recently arrived. Go find witnesses and extract information to see who has interfered with us. They may still be nearby. Capture anyone that even appears suspicious. Did you clean up the body at the crime scene? If not, then hurry along with that. The rain in this city makes bodies rot quickly. You better hurry or it will putrefy. Ugh. Yeah, so like we didn't find a rope or anything, but yeah, I think someone just clearly climbed a rope. I mean, I, I really don't think it's To speed any... this case along, we need to quickly deal with that nail man we arrested. We should even consider a public execution. Oh, jeez, is that kind of city? Did you hear that? Oh, I realized I was talking about his dad. Oh, God, hurry. An execution? What do we do? At this rate, my dad... This Seth guy doesn't care about the truth. He just wants to wrap up this case as soon as possible. In this city, what they say becomes the truth. Please! The only way to save your dad is to catch the real culprit. I can do it. Leave it to me. Really? Thank you! But first, we have to leave this area before they find us. I know a secret way out. You can pass through here to get back to a street in Ginma District. You might stand out if you're with me, so I'll go a different direction. Are you sure you'll be okay alone? Yes. I play around.
around here often. Um, please help my dad. How do we know you're not the mailman? Yeah, just you wait. I'll bring some good news soon. I actually said mailman, and I really meant nail man that time. I gotta stop. Okay, I was just gonna play until at least we get to the uh, labyrinth. Will there be a labyrinth for this mystery? The only thing that doesn't make any sense is obviously they use the rope or something like that. But what doesn't make sense is how did they get the rope? How did they retrieve the rope? We know the shutter will close. You sure you want to be so quick to make promises? I'm not very confident, but I can't ignore someone asking for help. If no one else is willing to listen, then it's up to me. Wow, get a load of this big shot. Didn't expect that from you, Master. But how do you plan to find the real culprit? We can't investigate the clock tower with the peacekeepers around. By the way, you can't use the mystery labyrinth yet. Not enough clues. If you jump into the labyrinth now, you'll be lost forever. You need to gather more solution keys. I don't ever want to go back there anyway. Then, how do you intend on solving this? There is one way. You're gonna rely on that one, huh? Always depending on someone else. What was the spot again? Something about a cafe? <sighs> um, I don't follow, but alright. If you let them take the lead, you're gonna be out 5 million yen, right? Do you have that kind of money, Master? Did they really? Or are you gonna go into debt? Did they really mention the cafe? Is what is the what's her face in here? Yep. I, okay. I thought so. Alara, please help me. If Master is bowing to show respect, I guess I better do the same. <laughs> please, for both our sakes. <laughs> the heck. I think she forgot. Minutes later than expected. So, do you have the cash? I don't have any on me right now, but I will eventually. Very well. I don't require you to have it immediately, but you will pay me 5,500,800 yen eventually. Oh, oh huh? no. But you said it was five million before. There's interest now. It's an additional fee for making me wait. And for the coffee. I told you I don't work for cheap. Oh, come on. So ruthless. A greedy little money demon. I think I'll call this one Hell Aura. I won't force your hand. Whatever you decide is up to you. While you think it over, I'm going to order some cake. Wait, do I have to pay for that too? Of course. <laughs> I'll add it to the bill. All right, I'll pay you all 5.5 million and 800 shin. Got it? Please don't add the cake. It's a deal. You made a wise choice. I have no obligation to help others, but I work sincerely according to the payment I receive. That is my pride as a detective. I will be your eyes and limbs and help solve this crime with everything I have. However, know this. You must be the one to complete the boy's assignment. How will they find things that we couldn't? Uh, me? You are the one who was asked to solve this case. All I will do is provide support. You may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have taken a job, you must finish it. In other words, as of now, I have taken up a position as your assistant. Really, Halara? You'll be my assistant? Of course. I'm here to assist for your case. Just rest assured in the cards you've been dealt. All right, thank you. Master has no memory and no guts. And now, he has no money either. Talk about a triple threat. Oh, be quiet. So what do we do now? To confirm, our target is the true culprit of the nail man killings, correct? The peacekeepers have decided that the boy's father is the nail man and arrested him. But I refuse to accept that outcome. After we finish the investigation, we may find out the boy's father is actually the nail man. Mm -hmm. If that's what you conclude, then I'll believe you, Halara. Believe? 
What a foolish line of reasoning. To believe in another is the shallowest concept one can uphold. All people lie. All people change their minds. As a detective, you must suspect all others. Even me. Yep. A detective must doubt everything. Still, I will believe what you say, Halara. I trust my instincts on this. Out of the question. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a... That's the WDOs. You're free to think of me as you wish. However, the truth must be found with your own eyes. Otherwise, there is no point in continuing as a detective. Yes. Continuing as a detective? I still haven't found meaning in being a detective. What's Alara trying to make me see? I'm no good at this. Hmm. A naive guy like yourself might be incompatible with such a straight-laced detective like this one. Maybe someone totally unmotivated would be better. Like that guy sleeping under the piano. Vivia? I'm not sure if unmotivated is the right word. Anyway, Master, I've been wondering, is this Halara person a man or a woman? Oh... Uh... Now that you mention it, I have no idea. If you're ready, we'll start the investigation. Well, I won't allow time to be wasted. Okay. Oh, right. I thought woman, but I mean, you missed your chance to you never ask. know. But then again, I also don't really care. You finished investigating the clock tower, didn't you? Now we will investigate the past mailman cases. I mean, the fact that they brought that up means that this probably a, uh, a man. The past ones? These are serial killings, aren't they? Oh, so you want to investigate the past murders as well. And through investigating each one, we can conclude if the boy's father is really the culprit. Or oh, but we don't know where the other crimes took place. Should we ask around town? I already know. There are at least three additional crime scenes. A secret club in Kamasaki District. A mansion in a high-end residential district and an art gallery in Gima District. Huh? When did you find that out? You think I did nothing while waiting at the cafe? I prepared by gathering intel in order to move the investigation along. That's amazing. With my logic, anything is possible. But before we head to past crime scenes, the Nailman urban legend requires more research. Let's visit the legend's main stage. The main stage? Oh, you mean the church? I have yet to pinpoint the church's location. We should ask someone to guide us there. Then we should ask the chief. Oh, I totally forgot about him. He told me to gather everyone. Hold on, He's let's just go waiting. Back to the My God, now. where are they? We're already way past the meeting time. Very well. We can ask the chief to take us to the church. It's the peacekeepers. Stay hidden. Oh, why are they going there? What what has he got? Huh? Oh, right. Chief. Flowers? And that peacekeeper from the clock tower. Seth Burrows. A high-ranking peacekeeper. He's quite infamous for being sly and persistent. <laughs> well, we sure got some heavy rain again, huh? Oh, the humidity makes my hair fuzzier than normal. I don't care. Huh? What, what did you say? <laughs> I don't care. More importantly, you sent your detectives to interfere with the Nailman case, didn't you? We have witnesses. Eh? Uh, Nailman? Uh, now that you mention it, there was a case like that before. Oh, wait, no. I don't know anything. <sighs> this flower. It's beautiful, isn't it? Uh -huh. Huh? Created by Amaterasu Corp's research, this precious work of art is adapted to Kanai Ward's environment. But unfortunately, once picked, it can only maintain its beauty for three hours when something beautiful withers. It fills me with an inexplicable sorrow. I feel so sad that... <laughs> oh God. It makes me want to sink a ship. I... I don't follow. The nail man affair will be handled by the peacekeepers. You and your team will withdraw immediately. Bring in the detectives you sent out. The peacekeepers will take custody of them. D hold on! I, I don't know what detectives you're talking about, and I don't know where any of them are. 
I'll wait until this flower withers. You have three hours. I'll not wait a second longer. So we gotta if solve this. Fail to meet my demands, you will suffer the same fate as this flower. Uh, fine, I get it. Can't you give me more time? That's a no. I doubt we'll actually be times, but you know, it's a story. Chief Yako, are you alright? Oh, Yuma, and Halara, too. Yeesh, this is bad. Uh, listen, the peacekeepers just came by. I know. We were watching from over there. Huh? You were watching? You couldn't at least help me out. But then. Hold on. Are you two the detectives they were talking about? I'm sorry. It's a long story, but it was probably us. What's stupid too is that there was a way, I think, in the church, right? Like through the back. They didn't have to like go. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Why? What's going on? It's exactly as the peacekeeper said. We are currently pursuing the nailman case. We'd like to search around the church. I was about to ask you to take us there, but you seem rather busy. Yeah, I'm real busy now, thanks to you two. You're gonna keep investigating? Not gonna help your chief out of a jam? Look, we've got three hours before I'm taken away. If that happens, the last detective agency in town is done for. Would you rather hand us over to the peacekeepers? Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the chief. I'd rather turn myself in than ever sell anyone out. Though, I wouldn't want to do that either, if I'm being honest. Never mind. Forget what I just said. Man, he does not know when to stop. What should we do, Halara? There's only one person who'll be taken into custody. It's not the chief, not us. It's the nail man. You will find the real culprit and turn the murderer over to the peacekeepers as originally planned. With enough evidence, they will have no room to reject the truth. But we only have three hours. Three hours is more than enough. I will give my utmost effort as your assistant. With That's how long logic, I've been recording. Anything is possible. Uh, I don't really get it, but it seems best to leave it to you two. You said you wanted to go to the church? Let me mark it on the map. It's for the best that I don't tag along. If we're seen together, things will get even more sticky. I'll be right here, waiting for good news. I'm counting on you. you. Got it. We're off. Three hours. You've got three hours to solve the case. Seriously, I'm counting on you. There's still so much I need to do. No oh, backstory. He's looking at a picture of his family. I just know it. All right, we back and we're in a different corner. It's exciting. I had to take a break because I played for three hours yesterday and <laughs> these chapters are long. What can I say? the church from Kamasaki district. Time is short. All right, let's go to church. Let's, let's go. Hurry. We need it. This is going to be weird because like normally what kind of feels these, you know, I, I don't want to call them class trials, but they're basically, you know, the trials, right? Where we try to figure out the mystery. Usually we're thinking someone did it, but at this point, we don't really have any actual suspects of who did it. We haven't seen so anyone that could have done it. Legends originated at this church. Unless there's some crazy surprise twist ending to where like the little boy did it, you know? Cause like, oh my God, that would actually be insane. I, 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 we can't rule even the child out. Also, I'm still not used to this freaking hair, man. It's just, I don't know. I feel like Naruto when he grows up and they've cut his hair all short, I think it looks dumb. Hmm. What's the matter, Halara? I hate churches. I find them devoid of value. Huh? Why is that? Because prayer is obviously inferior to payment. Just look at the tragedies this city has seen. There is no God to save you. The lost lamb should look to detectives for help instead, don't you think? I don't know about that. Depends on the individual. Forget it. For now, let's talk to the people around the church. Will they even listen to us? They can't say no if we say we're on assignment for the peacekeepers. Is it okay to lie like that? Is her? 
is his or her or they their jacket is it like stained i can't tell or is it just shiny Whether it's okay or not is secondary our priority <laughs> is to solve the case in order to achieve that deception is at times required now let us educate those who are here that their true savior isn't beyond the rain clouds it's me pulls out a gun oh my god oh my god who are these um, people what is it you wanted to speak about i've already spoken to the peacekeepers a bunch None? of times how many times do i gotta say it uh, uh, hasn't the culprit already been arrested well i don't mind i have time to talk <sighs> Uh, in, in, in every anime game, right, there's, uh, like, Final Fantasy, a lot of those games, they always have really exaggerated size. I get it. It's a style choice, but it's funny to me. <clears throat> How long are you going to stand around like some tombstone? Our time is short. Why do you think we've gathered them here? I could already see everyone simping over that, that character. None right there. Oh, Not even yeah. a main character. Um, we have to question them, right? It's your move. Play your card. Okay, so I mean, it's gotta be some of these people then. Do really have to do this? I guess Halara seems intent on being the assistant. Just do it for me, Halara. In my opinion, it'd go much faster if Halara did Oh yeah, Halara is what they're calling her. But I have Him, to do her. It. Sorry, no whatever. I don't know. Time they haven't said. Give me a break. Bro, I don't know if I trust any church like this, man. Are you the priest of this church? That's right. My family has served this church for many generations. Though I only became a man of the cloth in recent years, the blood of martyrs spanning centuries dwells within me. Thus, my existence is but a piece of the eternal prayers offered. That is my mission, as the divine has guided me to do. I don't get why, but he sure seems proud to be a priest. Evil. Do you Evil. Know about the nail man? Of course. I have no idea how that rumor spread around. Bro, you look like the mailman right Perhaps now. Perhaps it was even started by a wish made by those seeking salvation. I, dude, I, which created the fantasy of the mailman. Bet he works at the post office. For sure. Salvation. That's how you know. The people of this city must be crazy if they look to the mailman for salvation. Hey, that actually sounds kind of cool. I know how they feel. <laughs> I want to tie you up and go to a world <coughs> where it's just you and me, master. Shinigami. Basically already like that. Jeez. Have some decency. We're in front of a church. Hi. <laughs> um, you are... You got a cast on? What are you, blind? I'm a nun, obviously. <laughs> what kind of nun talks like this? This is a front for money laundering. You got some nerve calling me here out of nowhere. Do you know how busy I am with choir practice? Yeah, you look like a very, uh, a very a religious girl, I'll you do. Kill your ass in the name of God. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> She's the type That's of like. That's how people are going to be with this I'll character. Have you know, my dad is a higher up at Amaterasu. That's all you needed to say. I don't trust. I don't oh, care God. If you're on a mission from the peacekeepers. If you piss me off, Papa will make you regret it. Right. Um, I'd just like to ask some questions. I'll keep it quick. Do you know anything about this nail man? You mean the guy nailing up dolls? Well, I have seen someone going into the forest late at night. Whenever I've gone into the forest afterward, I usually find dolls nailed to the trees. The dolls have names written in what looks like blood. It's creepy as hell, really. I don't see none of that in the church in or the words, clock tower. It's totally metal. I see. By the way, what happened to your right hand? Oh, you what? Her? What did indeed happen to your right hand? Do explain this hey, convenience. It's nothing. Oh, why would your hand be broken? No, huh? maybe you're doing some climbing. Maybe you're doing something very physical. You know, like nailing people. 
I went a little overboard while practicing an instrument. Oh, really? <laughs> You're strumming the freak out of that guitar, aren't you? I'm working on this new thing I call Death Metal Choir. I was messing around on the bass and... Well, you know. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I always break my hand when I play the bass. Is that your dominant hand? What kind of question is that? You want to die or something? Oh, uh... It, it is her dominant hand. I'm sure of it. I see. What does that mean? How do you know? <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe the suspicion oozing off of these people. You definitely got something. There's something wrong, okay? First suspect is, is her 1000%. What about you freaking looking like you're part of the Yakuza? Excuse me, but you are... Do you even have to ask? You know who I am. You're a worshipper, of course. Huh? No, I think today is the first time we've met. What? You're investigating the nail man and you don't know who I am? What's that supposed to mean? This must be the clergy member on the report who was the first to find the body. The first? Dude, it's like they're covering this all up, yeah, man. Yeah, that's right. I was the first on the scene. Right, it was on the report. I'm impressed Halar was able to realize it so quickly. I've been attending every day since I was first baptized here as a child. That's how pious I am. <laughs> also, his voice doesn't really fit his uh, face, in my opinion. Just me? But I don't work here, so it's not like I'm a clergy member. I just love mystical places like this. There's an otherworldly feeling to it, you know? I love researching this type of stuff, which is why I've been keeping an eye on nail man activity for a while now. So, you know a lot about the nail man. That's an understatement. In fact, you could say I'm an expert in nail man research. <laughs> in that case, what do you think about the clock tower murder? Though it seems the suspect has already been arrested. I think he was framed. Oh, you're saying that. Okay. You do? Then who do you think the real killer is? The real nail man, obviously. The peacekeepers are making a big mistake. Listen, the nail man exists. The nail man is summoned through a ritual and commits murder based on a sacrificial doll. That's impossible. Yeah, I get it. You probably want proof. In that case, look for a doll in the forest. You'll find a nail doll with a name tag for the dark ceremony. Whoever's name is on it is the nail man's next target. Yeah, so we mean we I mean if we want to find him, it's pretty simple. You just follow the next name. Like anyone could just have done that. Someone in town with the same name. If you're lucky, you might have a run in with the nail man. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky. I've missed him by just a hair four times already. I see. So you can guess the next victim based on each doll's name tag. So what you're saying is that you uh, and the mailman, the nail man, have never been in the same room, huh? I'm blue hair. I was so close at the clock tower too. I found someone whose name matched a name tag, and figured out she was heading to the clock tower. She? Oh, the the victim. I called the peacekeepers and entered the clock tower, but I was too late. Damn it! If only I'd acted sooner. I was so close to meeting the nail man. Guess he just wants to meet the nail man and doesn't care about preventing the murders. So he's an occult enthusiast? Seems like a huge weirdo. Hmm, hmm. My detective senses are tingling. And you are... I... I do the odd jobs like cleaning around the church. I also care for the forest. He has that servant hair somehow. Like, <laughs> Do you know anything about the nail man? I, I, I often patrol the woods, but I'm usually asleep at night. When morning comes around, there are dolls nailed to the trees. It's tough to clean all of them. Up. This seems pretty dang easy to figure out, right? Like, just stay up all night. Have people that are staying up all night you really want to catch this person or not or like no i need to sleep come on i've never seen the nail man himself but i've seen people enter the forest plenty of times have you ever talked to them i have but they typically run away 
some get surprised and, and leave their nails and doll behind. Oh my god. I chase god. after them to give them back their dolls, but I'm never fast enough. They always get away. Oh, oh, cause right, that's right, because random people, right, can, can put the, the, the names up, right? I, I feel like they should be charged as well. I mean, them, them doing this stuff, that's why they're running away. It makes sense. That makes sense with a body like that. I understand. Dang. Thank you very much. Wow, Shinigami I've just freaking everyone. says it like Hello, it is, I guess. Is there anything Jeez. you'd like to ask them? She has no filter. Only end your turn once you've secured a shot at victory. Um, does that mean I should gather more information? What else should I ask about? Um, ask about... Um... About if anything strange has happened. Um, has anyone noticed strange things happening near the church lately? <coughs> wow, what a vague question. I mean, it could be a good question. Oh, uh, now that you mention it, what is it? Uh, please, any small detail will help. S uh, something strange was burning in the incinerator earlier. What do you mean by strange? L like. The rope. I thought it was a rope. The rope. But all I can say is it it looks strange. Um, can you try drawing what it looks like? Yeah, see, I wanted I wanted to see the rope. It does look like some sort of bizarre rope. Something that you would hang multiple things on. It's like a centipede with legs missing from one side. Uh, I was worried That's that a rope it ladder, is it not? to be burned. So I tried to take it out. It's a rope ladder that's half burned. But I was too late. It was completely incinerated. Hmm. I asked around to see if anyone knew about it, but everyone claimed they hadn't thrown away anything like it. But still, the question is, so they used a rope ladder to get up and down. That's what the nails were for. That's why there was threads attached to them. But what doesn't make any sense is how they got it back out. How did they get the rope out and then get back down? The incinerator is surrounded by a locked fence. Only clergy can access it. So, no one here recognized it? I don't even work here in the first place. Only clergy can access the incinerator. But no one claims to have thrown it away. Hmm. I don't know if this has anything to do with the case. But something's fishy. Oh, this is probably has everything to do with it. This is like probably one of the most important pieces of the whole case. Okay, let's ask about nail man murders. Um, there have been several nail man cases in the past, right? Does anyone know anything about past cases? You know a lot about these things, right? Yeah, you can ask me anything about the nail man, including all past cases, obvious. I was the first to find the body every time. That's awfully huh? suspicious. Every time? There's no reason to look surprised. I already told you how I did it. I find dolls with name tags in the forest. Then, I look for whoever is supposed to be the next victim. But every time I find a victim, they're already dead. Being the first on scene each time? Sounds super suspicious. But the fact that he would come out and admit it like that, it's kind of... You think I'm yeah. suspicious, don't you? I suppose you would. The first person on the scene can always lie and say they discovered the body in a locked room. Yeah, I mean, how much Among Us have I have you but played? The thing is, you know, same thing. I've never been alone when I've discovered a body. All of the crime scenes had no way in or out, so I'd open them with someone nearby, or by asking the peacekeepers. So the body's discovery was never done alone. If that's true, then all the rooms really were locked. Master, why don't you ask for more details about past cases for now? Can you tell me more about each case? There have been three Nailman cases in the past six months, excluding the one at the clock tower. The first happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki District. It's essentially a members-only casino. The victim owned the place. At the time, the Nailman was just a name you'd sometimes hear about in urban legends. But... I had a personal interest in the nail man, so I started researching him, and then it happened. I came across another murder while investigating a name tag I found in the forest. I knew then that it had to be the nail man. And that crime scene was also within a locked room? Yeah, 
All of the Nail Man crime scenes have common characteristics. There's always a corpse and doll coated in nails. And also, the murderer leaves no trace behind. Isn't that bizarre? See why I'm so interested in the Nail Man? Well, they definitely left the rope thing. I totally get it. Don't empathize with him. The Secret Club was the first locked room mystery. As for the second... Oh, you know what? Actually, I think I... I, wa I don't know if I showed it on camera, but I, I walked past like a, some, some caution tape. Was that the Nail Man thing? It was at a mansion cool. in the residential area near Ginma District. About three months ago, the owner of the mansion was murdered in the building's study. The crime scene again took place in a locked room with a corpse and doll covered in nails inside. Considering all this, there's no doubt it was committed by the Nail Man. By then, I knew the legendary Nail Man had descended upon Kanai Ward. The third locked room mystery occurred a month ago. A woman was killed in an art gallery storage in Ginma District. It also featured a body and a doll covered in nails in a completely locked room. And today, the fourth locked room mystery happened at the clock tower. That's every single Nail Man case. At least, for now. I'm sure the Nail Man will continue on. He will enact revenge for the people of Kanai Ward. Jeez, why do you like him so much? Uh huh. Okay. How about the dolls? Why the dolls? That reminds me. Is there any information about the dolls used in the Nail Man ceremonies? I know a few have been found at the crime scenes too. <laughs> you find that stuff in any doll shop. Doll shop? Huh? You haven't seen one? What are you, a foreigner or something? Around here, all the craft shops have been selling fancy dolls for a long time. They were mostly souvenirs for tourists. But that industry is long gone now. Some places still sell them at steep discounts just to get rid of their stock. If you know where to look, you'll see mountains of illegally discarded dolls all over the place. I see. So they aren't much of a clue given how easy they are to obtain. Just stop selling the dolls and no more mailman. Nailman. I actually keep saying mailman now. No, no joke. On accident. Earlier. He's suspected of being involved in the mailman incident. Does anyone know anything about him? A watchmaker? You mean G.A. Colin? I've asked him to fix the church clock several times to think that he's the mailman. Well, it hasn't been proven that he's the culprit yet. Oh, I see. But if it were him, no one would blame him. What do you mean? Why? This city has completely changed. Everyone is seeking salvation in some way. The Nail Man was born out of our situation. You mean the Nail Man is what the people actually wanted? Many would certainly deny it. But the nail dolls continue to appear in our forest. If the nail man acts as their agent, then they are also the nail man. In a way. So couldn't they just if they if they were unhappy with what the city was like, uh, I guess they would need the, the name of the victim, but I was like, you know, what about the Amarat uh, Amarat wow Amaterasu Corporation? Like, you know, couldn't they just nail the the head you know people but maybe they don't know their names you know i don't know plot hole maybe that's how i see it what do you think that's true the nail man could be seen as a savior to some people after all he kills the people you want dead for you i mean the victim had it coming for doing something worth getting killed over right yes or not nah or no <sighs> right Sure, that could be convenient, but at the same time, what if it's an innocent person? You can't just have them running around doing I've asked this. About everything I wanted to find out. Looks like time <laughs> is almost up. Let's get going. Was that okay? Yes, it will suffice. Thank you for your cooperation. You should study their faces well. They may end up being accused of the murders. Huh? 
You need to remember every face so you can spot them even the fact if they that, flee through a crowd. The fact that the nun girl didn't say much about her broken arm is automatically she's on my number one Wait, spot. Do you mean the actual culprit is one of them? Perhaps. There's not enough information yet to act on. We have no time to waste. Let's investigate the other crime scenes. Best not to scramble what little gray matter rests in your head. So let's examine the crime scenes chronologically. Uh, okay. Well, the first murder occurred at... Um, the first murder occurred at... Oh, uh, they said the... Um... I think it was the club? It's the secret club in the Kamasaki district. Correct. Let's hurry. Oh, I gotta go go over there now. What's this? I'm sure. This fox must be the church's Come symbol. On. An otherwise fine atmosphere spoiled by a lame A fox. A gargoyle would really tie the place together. This has something to do with this, I know it does. Oh, I got an emerald for Vivia. Okay. I will get to them. But dang, this chapter is long. I want to kind of get to the, you know, meat and bones of this. What's up with this window? Creepy. Oh! Maybe it's some reinforced and always watching type of ideology. Ew, this thing's going to haunt my dreams. Let's get out of here. You're literally the death god. You have, like, how are you scared of anything? That's a nice tree. That's a magnificent tree, even. Okay, there's something unsettling That's about true. it. I think it's because of how twisted and distorted it is. Okay, so does the game just put random things to, to just look at and that's like, you know, I don't know. You know, also it could be, you know, more than one person, you know, like there could have been more people. They they could all be on it, in on it, you know. I'm not ruling that out. Um, Halara, I've been thinking. The first incident was six months ago, right? If we go to the crime scene now, there's nothing left to investigate. Hey, you gotta at least go look. You think it will be a waste of time? There's no need to worry about that. So, you have a plan then? What? You're working with Halara Nightmare. What more could you possibly ask for? No. Let's be swift. Huh? Right. I don't really get it, but talk about confidence. Yeah, all right. Um, I swear I passed by it. I did. Have you seen this child? Never seen her. Uh, was she spirited away too? Uh -huh. You heard of this before? Does being spirited away happen that often? I don't know about that, but I've seen lots of folks get hysterical because their kid up and vanished. They say it's a ghost, but appears out of nowhere and kidnaps the kids. Have they all been watching any VHS tapes? Hmm? Just saying, maybe. Hmm. Don't let me together with some ghost. It's not like I believe in ghosts in the first place. I bet Amaterasu is behind it. <sighs> Amaterasu? Yeah, they're probably using kids for some kind of experiment, you know? I wouldn't be uh, surprised if Amaterasu really was behind it all. Maybe. Um, are they really doing something that terrible? Thank probably. You very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Can I help you? Uh, Have you seen this child around here? Never seen her. <sighs> I see. Yeah. It doesn't seem like he knows anything. I should ask someone else. That's right. We're still doing that side quest about the child. Uh, what do I do? How could this happen? Hmm? What's the matter? Please help me. I don't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> your luck is as bad as ever. Now. Anyway, let's just see what she has to say. Not another side quest. Someone stole my purse. I tried talking to the peacekeepers, but they wouldn't even hear me out. Could you please help me find the person who snatched my purse? Aww. Oh my god, what am I, Spider-Man? Hey. Oh, there's a peacekeeper right there. Bro, he walked through me. I'm a ghost. I guess, why not? Maybe it was the nail man. All right, what did the purse snatcher look like? Well, he was wearing a navy blue jacket, glasses, and white pants. He also had on a white mask. Thank you very much. Well, that's easy to find. You mean that? Wait, no, it's not this person, right? Hmm? Oh, it maybe? <laughs> they said navy blue pants? Is that what they said? We'll just say it's definitely this person. You're the culprit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Huh? The navy blue jacket is proof. Oh, wait. Sorry, I got the wrong person. Jeez, talk about rude. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh. Are you wearing a mask? I can't see. Oh hey, this is the this is the place that I saw. 
This appears to be the crime scene, but it's sealed off. They've left it like this for six months? No doubt they've shirked their obligation to clean up. I suspect the peacekeepers are lazy to a fault. Huh? You could have just like went under it or jumped over it. We had to be extra. Okay. It's open. Let's go inside. They left the lights on too? What's wrong with these people? The peacekeepers may be sloppy, but even they wouldn't leave the crime scene completely untouched. The body was probably found around here. The victim's name is Suguma Iho, an old man who owned this place. His reputation left much to be desired. This place was an illegal casino operating at obscene rates. Even the cheating was rampant. You sure know a lot about it. When did you... I told you, I gathered my own intel while waiting at the cafe. The real interesting note is that this crime scene also had no way in or out. At the time of discovery, the door was locked from the inside. There aren't any windows either, which is expected given that it's underground. There are air vents, but they have secure covers barring entry. Besides, no one's able to reach that high up. No windows? The only way in and out is the door that was locked from the inside? It's a locked room mystery! Locked room mystery! <laughs> but there's not much more to investigate. We don't know what state the body was in at the time of discovery. I told you not to worry. The conditions have all been met. Conditions? Don't tell me you've forgotten I'm a master detective. Oh, your forte! My forte is post-cognition. <laughs> the power to see the past. That's a pretty OP power. However, it can only be used at murder scenes. Okay, I'll take it. To it's not completely precise, useless. useless. I can only see how the crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. Another way to describe it would be as crime scene limited psychometry, if that's easier to understand. That's amazing! It's like the perfect forte for a detective! My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene, not the culprit. Not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. Very weird, right? The memory or power. perception of the witness does not affect my postcognition. When it comes to my power, the witness is not a camera or a recording device, but rather a trigger. Perhaps the best way to think of it is like a bookmark stuck between the pages of when the body was found. Well, there's no point in wasting more time explaining. Let's have a look. That power sure is convenient. Explains all the confidence. It's similar to the mystery labyrinth, where I recreate the crime scene in your mind. But now it's done in the real world. Although, it is limited to both the crime scene and the moment of first discovery. But still, it's amazing. On the other hand, my master's got nothing. Why is life so unfair? Now I'm angry. Master, can I nibble on your heart to help cheer me up? No. Of course not. Okay. So let's see it then. Go ahead, do the thingy. Post-cognition. I wonder what it's like. All I can do is wait for the report. Well, do I have some good news for you. What is it this time? Master, try to remember. Did you feel anything back on the Amaterasu Express? You know, when the other master detectives used their powers? This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his power. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Okay, so that's his power. He can, he can feel, he can basically take on anyone's power when they use it. Right. I can sense whenever a master detective uses their power. Yes, that's it! Maybe your coalescence will work now! Coalescence? Simply put, it's the ability to share someone else's power. That might be the best power of all, if you think On about the train, it. train, you only felt the resonance of other people's fortes, but its true function is to share their powers! Wait, then that means I can also see the scene in the past with Halara? That's amazing! Is this your ability, Shinigami? Huh? Is something like that but there are conditions for it to activate 
You must kiss someone to share their abilities. <laughs> what? Kiss Halara? Ha! I lied. Look at you blush. Did you really want to? You still don't know if Halara is a boy or a girl. Oh, quit messing around and tell me how it works. You need permission from the person sharing the ability first. Then you must hold hands while the ability is active. No, you don't. That's not what he did. Okay, I can do that. He touched, uh, he touched what's her face's um, hand, right? Uh, if I if I'm not mistaken, but I don't remember him touching uh, the other guy's hand. Um, Halara. Hmm. Or did he not? See? I felt like he did sense the power. Halara, I need you to be quiet. I'm concentrating. Sorry, but there's something I want to ask. Can I hold your hand? Come on, please, let me hold your hands. Hold hands. You and me. Yes, that way I'll be able to see the past too. I think. He's just lying. He's just lying. He just wants to hold someone's hand. My sources made no mention of such an ability. In fact, you're just a trainee. Yeah, but I just remembered I had it. Anyway, we don't have much time. Let's try it. I have no intention of getting friendly with you. Oh, uh, it's not like that. I despise you. Huh? Wow. Just the thought of holding your hand makes my skin Come crawl. Oh, you don't have to do I that. You hated me so much. Let me be clear. I don't just hate you in particular. I despise all of humanity equally. Yeah, all right. As long as it's not just him. anyone except the dead. <laughs> I had a feeling. Halara must be a demon straight from hell. Then why did you choose to help me with the investigation? As I told you in the beginning, I always work sincerely for the payment I receive. As long as you promise payment, I will promise my utmost efforts as a professional. Then please, hold my hand. It's necessary for the investigation. <laughs> shake my hand! Yeah, you know that video of the guy on the airplane? Oh, come on, I just want to shake my hand. You can have this to my bill if you want. You'll agree then. Hmm. <sighs> Fine. If it's what I must do as a detective, then I have no oh, choice wow. but to agree. Oh, wow. Halara, uh, just because money is involved, now you'll do it? Kind of weird, huh? I guess you could call that hand holding. Huh? 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 Oh, I can see it. Everything looks different than a moment ago. Incredible. So this is post cognition. Oh, so the whole table's Can you moved. Really see it? So your coalescence is real. I didn't expect you to already have your own forte. Well, this does save me the trouble of reporting it back to you. But it's quite inconvenient to keep our hands joined. Very well. Go ahead and lead the investigation. Me? If you can see what I see, that would be for the best. I'm only acting as your assistant, after all. This is quite the bizarre crime scene, but unusual crime scenes are expected when you work for the WDO. Now, let's see what you're capable of. Okay, examine the scene around the table. That's... Oh, I have to press the button, okay. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I don't know why. Um, okay. Hmm. Am I supposed to look at anything over here? Probably not. Oh, the doll hmm? now. So this was moved during the incident. As far as I could tell, it doesn't seem to relate to the case. Yeah. 
Let's check another place. Okay, another doll. That's There's a doll nailed to the roulette I table too. There's also a doll nailed here, right in the middle of the roulette wheel. The doll itself seems to be the same as the others. There doesn't seem to be any no anything noteworthy. That in and of itself is sufficient knowledge. Let's check someplace else. There's clearly blood on that, right? Am I seeing things? There is. Seems kind of weird they wouldn't let me look at that. There's glass in the counter. There's a thin layer of dust. Okay, so it's old. Okay, I don't think I should even regularly check anything. A key. Strange. Oh, there's a key. Seems like it. By the way, being an illegal casino, the security was extremely tight. There's only one master key. It's also a special key that can't be duplicated. If it was thrown in from outside the vent, it wouldn't be inside the glass. Oh god, look at the body. Dang, I didn't so even see that. this is definitely another laundry room mystery! Hooray! I'm so glad I met you! Okay, um, secret club door key. So it only goes to the door? Interesting. All right, we definitely need to look at the body. A body. I see a body. The murder scene through Halara's eyes is completely silent. There are dolls nailed to the walls and floor, and a corpse pinned down with nails in a similar fashion. This all feels like a dream. It doesn't seem real. So the neck still has the rope thing. There are abnormal decorations all around the crime scene. And it's so, so quiet. It's a man's corpse. He's probably around 60 years old. His body is pinned against the wall with countless nails. There isn't much bleeding, so the nails must have been hammered in after he died. You're starting to get the hang of this. Not too shabby. Oh. Is it always that case? Because if that's the case, then the, the, they were just strangled then. Oh, there are marks on him. Signs that he was strangled. The vertical scratch marks were probably made when he resisted. The most basic of basic observations. Well, at least you noticed. Next <laughs> to everything I taught you at the clock tower. <laughs> Such an awesome mentor. This situation is identical to the murder at the clock tower. The culprit first strangled the victim to death, and then decorated the room afterward. But why? The vents. Hey, this vent. The cover is in place, but it hasn't been screwed on. Which means it could be easily removed, right? Look, if they can go through a vent, they're a tiny person. What are you doing? You can't touch what you see in post-cognition. Even if you happen to be three meters tall. Do you have to make fun of his height? Oh, I see. But I think this will be an important clue. Yeah, they climb the nails. The They're even bent. 40 by 30 centimeters. A thin adult could probably pass through. I knew it. Yeah. Okay, um. Yeah, the dolls don't really say much, uh, the, but they definitely, you can tell they, they definitely climbed the nails. That's what they did. They're not really locked room mysteries if there's always a way out. By there the has way, to be a way out. Did, did you notice you the nail below the vent? I did. Below. Huh, some of the nails are bent downward. Maybe they were hammered in a hurry. Or perhaps there's another reason. Another reason? Okay, well, I mean, that was easy to figure out. That's how they got up there. There wasn't any rope this time. Well, there what? Okay, maybe there always is because they do strangle them. Oh, there are, 
What are you doing behind there? Are you eating a cookie? The chair's knocked over, so there was a struggle over here. It started here. This could be the evidence of a struggle between the victim and the culprit. I don't know about that. The culprit could have knocked it over on purpose to throw off the investigation. There's not much we can get from it other than the fact that it's knocked over. It all tells a story, the lock you know. Is broken. Maybe someone broke it and forced their way in. Like at the clock tower. But from the looks of it, there's no sign of the lock or door being tampered mm -hmm. with. Uh, well, they could have locked it. It was locked from the inside. Like, can they do that? Okay. Yeah, I mean, seems pretty straightforward. They were strangled, nailed to the wall, they climbed out the vent. I mean, the table was moved. There's chairs being knocked over. Sounds like they struggled, you know? Okay, yeah, so the door was locked from the inside, and that's what the key was for. That should do it. There isn't much else to investigate. I've never experienced this before. But it's surprisingly convenient to be able to share my post cognition. Are we buddies it's now? It's exhausting to explain what I see to a client. Really? People do not believe what they cannot see. I have often been called a liar. I suppose fortes aren't always convenient. We still have locked room mysteries to examine. The second incident was at the mansion near Gima District. Okay, so the whole point of this is to find a common thing and... I have an idea yeah. of where to go. Let's hurry there. The building we're heading to is accessed through Gima District. Let's hurry there. We also still haven't found the child. I'm sure we can... We'll figure it out eventually. Gima District. Alright, let's talk to her real quick. Hmm? That person. Uh, she seems a bit uneasy. She might fall over at any Come moment. <sighs> Uh, I guess let's talk to you. Um, What's wrong? I'm, Who are you? I'm kind of a detective. <laughs> in training. Well, There's something wrong. Well, actually, I've run away from here, from home. I'm at a loss about what to do next. Ooh. This smells like a case. Let's hear her yeah. out. Okay. Well, I mean, I'll just accept it for now. I don't know about solving it. I'm the daughter of a merchant who does business throughout Kanai Ward. Due to family circumstances, it was decided that I would have an arranged marriage. Thinking of what's best for my family... I should accept, but you didn't want to do it. Okay, because they're an awful person, which is great, you know, good reason. I heard it with my own ears. He said he was only using me uh, huh? for my father. So then why not talk to your father about it? There's nothing I could do without proof. Besides, my father is very keen on him. When I told my father I didn't want to get married, he yelled at me and said I shouldn't have caused trouble. See. Yeah, that Aww. sucks. Do you want me to go, like, put a, a doll on a tree for you? <laughs> Seems like the great day. We haven't solved it yet, you know? Seems convenient. Okay, so she wants me to take a letter to her father. Okay. Okay. We'll worry about that later. There's a large mansion beyond the gate over there. I wonder if that's the second crime scene. That's probably it. Let's go inside. It's closed. As expected. My God. Are you sure? Do you just break everything? Wait. It looks. Like no, hot the mansion. Mansion. Ghosts around. I have a feeling they'll appear this time. I've been meaning <coughs> to ask, but aren't you kind of a ghost yourself? The incident occurred about three months ago. The victim was Ali Hohen, the owner of this mansion. He had no family and lived alone. The mansion is now empty and dilapidated. The crime scene is in the study near the back. The nail man killings had another common factor. Besides the locked room, the first person to find the body was always the same person. That worshiper from church? Do you suspect him too? What he said did make sense. He's been obsessed with the nail man and had access to the names of potential victims. It's not too surprising for him to be the first on the scene each time. I guess I shouldn't assume things going into this. That's right. It's down this hallway. The crime scene is in the room on the right side. There's little time. Let's head straight there. Ha! Think you're partners now? Just because you held hands with my master? 
I'll have you know, Master and I are connected on a much deeper level. Don't make it sound so suggestive. <laughs> Feels like a jump scare is coming up. <laughs> oh, what the heck? <laughs> I love the little animations they do. Is this, is this supposed to be like, you know, Luigi's Mansion or something? I mean, she looks like a ghost from a Luigi's Mansion. I need a vacuum cleaner. So this is the study where the crime took place. Oh, it's open. I wonder if the lock was broken at the time of discovery here too. Duh. There's nothing left here either. It's all cleaned up. Oh, he was fed to the fish. I don't want to do it, but uh. I suppose I can share my post cognition again. Are you sure? Don't make a big deal out of it. Just make it quick. All right, let's get this over with. <laughs> the crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before us. It all happens in silence, as though awakening from an eternal slumber. But the corpse will never wake up again, even if the corpse did awaken. The nails pinning him down would prevent him from rising. Oh, look at those hands. The door is the only entrance and exit to oh, the room. I didn't notice the hands of the other one, too. There are no windows and the vent is small. I don't see any escape routes from the locked room. Maybe the doll nailed to the wall holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. Okay, well this is... Why is that highlighted like that? You know, maybe we'll have to go over there and do it. There's a huge tank, but there's no fish. Okay. Okay, that didn't really say anything. Oh, something's up here. Projector. It's installed. Uh, it's under the bookcase, but was it uh, on the corpse when it was found? You'll never reach it. I'll check it out for you. Did you find anything unusual? Everything is extremely usual and unrelated to the case. Why is it there? Lamp? Oh! Oh, a, a moth did it. There's a lamp here. The lamp's light is pointed at the table. It was probably wasn't turned on at the mm. time. I don't see anything suspicious. Okay, useless information. Great. We should port. You know, we should start with the body. It seems like the most important part here. The victim is a well-built man, approximately 30 years old. The corpse here is also covered in nails. His appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age, but along with aggressive land sharking and other illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu Corp. There are several reasons he'd be hated. A doll with his name on it was bound to be nailed in the church forest. I wonder how the person who cursed him feels now that he's actually dead. Perhaps they feel no responsibility. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. <laughs> they hopped on the toxic toxic gossip train. Is that <clears throat> really the case? Wait, this is odd. Hmm? Did you find something? Look closely. The length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. Huh. The length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered in. Well, what do you mean? The nails driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. But the nails in the upper torso did not penetrate all the way through the body. But why would the culprit not hammer the nails in as hard on the upper body? That's not the only unnatural thing. Take a look at the blood. There seems to be the more this time. The lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways. But the upper torso wounds are bleeding vertically down toward his waist. Huh. The blood flows differently between the upper and lower body? Maybe the upper and lower torsos are different people, and they were smushed together after death. That's a good observation there. That's disturbing. So they were nailed in at different times, clearly. He was si he was sitting up. Okay. Man, okay, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that with the other ones. Do we have pictures? I need to look. Let's look at the neck first. The 
cause of death here appears to be strangulation as well. And like the others, there are rope marks around the neck and traces of a struggle. Oh, but on a closer look, there's a mark left by a thin string on the back of his neck. It couldn't have been the rope that was used to strangle him. The thickness is completely different. There are two different types of string marks on the body. Was he strangled twice? But even then, it'd be odd to only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. Yeah, so... <laughs> there was string on the nails before, but... Was that from the rope? I'm so confused. See, this, these nails uh, have the, you know, small strings on them. So maybe that's the related here. Yeah, see, the, the blood thing is not the same for her. And I don't have a full picture, but I don't think it was the same for him. I don't know. Okay, they've been able to floor up to the clock tower in the secret club. This makes three. Uh, it doesn't make any less creepy, though. It's not the time to show fear. You must be strong. Okay. It appears. Again, nothing with the dolls. Although the dolls might have something to do with the case, you know, but we just don't know it yet. A series of books is arranged neatly on the shelf. No indication that they've been moved. The painting has been moved, though. Judging by the mark of the wall, I'd say this painting was hung in an angle. Peacekeepers must have altered it by mistake during their investigation. How confusing. Like, lift it up, take it off or something. That's what I would do. What kind of investigation people are you? Detectives? Several books uh, line the shelf. Uh, I checked, but it doesn't seem like anything's different from between then and now. Well, why are they highlighted? Right? Okay, a doll on the wall. There's only one doll nailed to the wall. Comparatively, there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls because of all the bookshelves in the way? Wait, this doll has both eyes gouged out. What? Did the culprit do this on purpose? This keeps getting more and more disturbing. But it's kind of creepy cute. I want to put one next to the top of a staircase so people can run into it at night. You're evil. Uh... Why would you want to do that? You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. The texture looks cheap, but also more durable. Too bad it doesn't have eyeballs. <laughs> the eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. It's like that darkness is... Huh? There's a mark on the edge of the eye holes near the nose. How did this mark get here? Okay, um, what? What does that have to do with anything? Again, like, it's it's the game's doing it to me again. It's like, I feel like, I feel like I should notice something, but at the same time, I don't. Like, how is it connected, possibly? Well, what about this doll? This doll's missing a head. I mean, so why are the eyes important on one of the dolls? Wait, what the heck? Look at it. In the past, there was no fish in the tank, but there's fish in it now? Why would that be a thing? Oh, there's a switch. What does this go to? Okay, that's kind of cool. Halara's hands are smaller and softer than I thought, considering Halara's strength. I thought they would be both. Well, Halara is big, though. They're really tall. Master, They're taller than, like, pretty much everyone I think I've seen in this game. all it takes to get you hot and heavy? You're making me sad. No. No. So, I -uh. am curious. Is Halara a man or a woman? What's wrong? Is something bothering you? Not at all. I this is going to be very important to the plot later on. Ask now. Okay, there's a stacked book. What does that have to do with oh. anything? They're in great condition aside from the dust. They look completely untouched. He probably seemed wanted to seem knowledgeable. They haven't been moved for a while. They're probably not related. Okay, they put a lot of unrelated stuff in the case. Okay, so the projector's on this, right? And it doesn't seem to have anything to do with the paintings on the wall, but yet one of them was moved. Like, couldn't there be a door or something behind there? Because they had to escape. Where else could you escape? It had to be the it had to be the the, the painting. Or yeah, there's some other secret door somewhere. Oh, there's a vent. I didn't see that. Okay. 
There is a vent, but it's too small for a person to fit through. And the hamsters it's also screwed shut from the inside. It oh, seems impossible to, re to remove. Master, I discovered something. There are marks in the gap between the fence, like something scraped against it. Really? But given your height, you couldn't see it even if you stood on a chair. Halara. Uh, Always can just use that chair to massacring my boy's height. Chill. I will do so for 10,000 Shen. You're charging. Oh my god, what is the bill gonna be by the time this is all over? <laughs> I just. Oh, that was a joke. That's not a funny joke. They seem to be left by the strings rubbing up against it. Seem to be left by strings rubbing against it. Did someone hitch a string to it or something? It shouldn't even be visible from your perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. Oh, uh, it was just a hunch. Uh oh, uh oh. See, I told you I'm useful. I do way more than just float around. You should give me ten thousand shen as a reward. I'm getting a headache. The vent is too small for a person to enter or exit the room. There's evidence that a string or something similar scraped up uh, against the gap in it. What did he do? Like walk in and there was a string and like they pulled the string and strangled him? You know, how does that relate in? Maybe what they do, maybe what the nail man does is that like they make them play some crazy saw game with string and nails. I don't know. Something like that. Who knows? I'm just throwing things out there, seeing if anything sticks, you know? But it's weird that there's so many nails around. It seems like there's a reason why, but we just don't know what that reason is. Looks like there's nothing left to check. Okay, that's it. So we did that. Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance, the answer is simple. Huh? Uh, Halara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? There's no way to solve it with what we have. How was the room locked? It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. Unless you'd like to hire me to do it for you. It won't come cheap. I'll figure it out myself. Yeah. That's really all about the money with Halara. The longer I'm with Halara, the deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare me. Now, let us be swift. Next up is our last crime scene. Wait! Without a doubt, Hilara's gonna die. Without a doubt. Dude, I was like, do I got a baby? Do I got a baby in this? Oh, screw that, dude. What was that? Freaking baby. The door's locked. Just our imaginations, probably. The next one is the art gallery in Gima District. We're running low on time, so we must hurry. Right. The chief's in danger after all. Okay, I'm assuming after this, something is gonna happen and then we'll go into the investigate or the labyrinth. This one is much longer than the other one. Totally didn't expect that. Huh? These weeds are getting out of control. Doesn't look like anyone's been taking care of this place. Well. Nobody left care uh, took care of it since this since the incident. Okay, so we can go either way. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, this place. Okay. So this is the art gallery. It's closed due to special circumstances. The murder occurred only about a month ago. But I'm certain the crime scene has been cleaned up like the others. Not that it matters to me. Break the Wait. door. It's not a good idea to break into the art gallery. <laughs> <laughs> I kick. Hmm? Did you say something? <laughs> That's our Halara. The crime scene is deep inside the art gallery. It's one of many storage rooms. Come, I won't allow time to be wasted. I oh, won't wait, allow. Please. <clears throat> All right. Hopefully, we find something new here to really like understand what's going on. Is this the storage room where the crime scene took place? It's locked. We're going in. <laughs> Just bust through everything. Like a couple of thugs or something. Oh, God. Can't just kick everything down. <laughs> it 
Storage closets are never good in these games. Was the first on the scene the person from the church again? As expected, it's the same worshiper. He said he was trailing the victim after finding a doll with the same name. He saw the victim enter the building late at night. He then searched the premises with the art gallery staff. When they opened this storage room, they discovered the victim's corpse. The door was locked at the time of discovery, and the key was found inside. Oh, another locked room mystery! That's for total! But I'm starting to get bored. It's not so special anymore. What do you mean special? People have died. Let's start investigating. Yes. They're all standing on the place where it was. All right, first things first. Same thing. Okay, it's another girl. Mission reveals the crime scene, and the room looked vaguely hazy in my eyes. Even with the rows of vivid paintings within the art gallery, the smell of paint oil that permeated the room wasn't that of the past, but the present. If even the smells from the past could be recreated, the stench of the corpse would be much more overwhelming. Okay, um... Yeah, so the... The only blood stains uh, were were different on the last one, but that was like it. The corpse of a young woman. She has nails all over her body, as expected. The victim's name is Issa Moe. She used her good looks to have relations with many men. The amount of suspects who could have written her name on the doll is nearly too high to count. Oh, she got caught cheating. The victim has those same marks that suggest being strangled to death. Huh? But there aren't any scratches that would have been left from a struggle. You noticed as well. Yeah, there's a wound on the back of her head. It looks pretty deep. Yeah, smacked up in the head. real cause of death. So they got knocked out first. But why the rope? The nails are already in the chest. So the only thing that could like, you know, the rope has to be the cause of death every time. Because that's the, you know, it's like, why? Why do the rope thing? And then they're nailed to the floor. Or then one of them is nailed to the wall. It just doesn't add up. Small window. The only way in or out of here besides the door is this window. The window jets out and is used as a vent. It doesn't appear big enough for someone to move through. Currently, it opens outward slightly, but there are no other suspicious traces on it. It seems impossible to enter or exit through here. What? The window just out, same things, okay, painting that wasn't there. This is... I'm... Or that's not there now. Oh, I got a rink up. Sweet. Oh, a painting on the floor with nails on it. A large and the key. Lies on the floor, and a doll is oh, I thought that was part of the painting. Canvas. One nail goes through the head. Another nail is in the chest, but the nail in the chest also passed through the circular hole on the key's handle. Did the culprit leave the storage room after nailing the doll and key to the painting? If that's the case, how did they lock the room? The key was nailed to the picture, so it couldn't have been used. Well, that's what makes it a locked room mystery. I'm sure they figured out some trick. Okay, so another common thing is that the key, except for the church or the clock tower, it's always left inside. Okay. And I need to find out what that trick is. It's left inside because they don't want someone to come in, uh, I guess. Uh, That's just too much to really make a good guess. Is... Unless you got some experts in the comments here. That's... 
Why are there painting, uh, paintings on the floor, you know? Okay, stacked boxes. Hmm? The cardboard boxes are stacked up. Judging from the labels, the boxes were brought in after the incident. Looks, uh, looks like there's artworks inside. There must be uh, storing the items no longer in exhibits. Okay, what was there before? Another painting. This is... It's a portrait painting with nails driven into it. This picture really conveys its uh, time period. Maybe the person depicted as an important figure from years ago. Uh, There's nothing dignified about this guy. He just looks like a regular old geezer. There are two keys that open this door. Only one of them was inside the room at the time of discovery. The other one was owned by a member of the art gallery staff. That staff member always carried the extra key and used it to enter this room when the corpse was discovered. Where was the key found inside usually kept? It's supposed to be kept in the administrative office, but it's unknown if it was always there. Maybe it was lost and the culprit found it. Or perhaps the culprit secretly stole it. Either way, the culprit managed to obtain the key somehow. One key was in the storage room. The other key was always carried by a staff member. If the culprit is that staff member, then this wouldn't be a locked room mystery, right? Why go through the trouble of making it look like a locked room murder if you'd immediately become the first suspect? I guess you wouldn't. Countered! <laughs> okay, so there's two keys in this one, which is different. Oh, spilled paint! I've been wondering, did the culprit knock this paint can over? If so, it could have been used for some sort of trick. It's unwise to make up your mind before conducting a proper investigation. It may have been like this before the murder. Or it could have tipped over when the discovery was first made. All right. You got carried away in the hopes of getting complimented. <laughs> Aren't you an eager little puppy? Be quiet. Okay, 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 okay. There's just, like, honestly, like, my mind is overloaded. I don't even know how to make a guess. Um, I think you'll just have to, you know, make more deductions as it goes on for now. Okay, this is the last thing we need to look at in this room. Culprit? Uh, wait. Sculpture covered with cloth. Oh! It appears. Okay, it's been gathered on the sheet, too. In other words, it's completely irrelevant. So is it uncovered now? No, it wasn't, but there was a painting. Why are the paintings moved? And where is... Th There's a lack of dolls in this room. That's different. There's just a bunch of nails. There's a nail stuck in a painting. The killer must have hammered a nail into the portrait instead of a doll. Why is there such a fixation on dolls? The crime scenes so far have all been abnormal. But this one's just sick and twisted. Hmm. Okay, so why did they use na uh, paintings instead of dolls in this one? There are baskets on top of the shelf. There's nothing but dust inside. I guess it hasn't been used for a while. Okay, so it's nothing. Yeah, mostly everything we look at it says uh, it's nothing. I'm calling it right now. They all have to play some sort of weird game when they're caught. And they, they never win. Something like that. And it has something to do with the nails. That should do it for the room. Next is the window. It would be best to check outside of it. Go ahead. I'll stay here. Oh, something's gonna happen. Outside the window? All right. You want me to climb through the window? I'll do it. It's fine to inspect the window, but our buddy here really insists you do everything yourself. And my master does everything he's told. Like a good little underling detective. Halara is right. This is something I took on myself. I can't just rely on everyone else. It's like Halara wants to train him. Front. That's why I have to do it. Or maybe Halara's just taking advantage of you. It's obvious money is that one's only motivation. Even so, I think it's the right thing to do as a professional detective. Master, being overly nice for no reason is stupid. That's why you're so deep in debt. I know, but... What are you mumbling about? Did you check the window? Oh, right! Oh, right, right away. away! Outside the window? Could that have anything to do to with the, the window? <laughs> Let's go. I wonder what Halara discovered. 
You know, I think Halara is just having fun pushing you around. I hope that's not the case. Here's the window. Well, see anything strange? No, nothing strange about it. I see. Try entering through the window. What? Between the gap? That's impossible. Just try it. Okay. Man, you got a big head. I, I can't. It's that coconut I head. I can't even put my arm through this gap. I can stick a finger in, but that's it. I thought so. Good job. You can return now. Huh? Are you sure? Did you figure something out? Did you not? No, not at all. What's that about? So, okay, it's only about five centimeters wide. They used the window to knock the girl out with something somehow. That was the only thing they could possibly do with it, right? Oh god, who's this? It's the nail man! Hey! What are you doing here? Oh god, that doesn't look like the nail man. Huh? Um, I, I'm not doing anything shady. I'll call the peacekeepers. Wait! I'm... Halara, get over here. I'm a detective. Um, let's say a detective. <clears throat> I'm a detective. Well, I'm still a trainee, technically. Uh-oh. You sure it's a good idea to reveal yourself like that? I'm investigating as a detective. I've done nothing to be ashamed of. Huh? A detective? What's that? You don't know what a detective is? I guess detectives aren't that big in Conai Ward. Mm. Must be because our fuzzhead chief is lazy. Um, well... We are special investigators for Amaterasu Corporation. We are currently <laughs> investigating a case. Civilians must not interfere. Uh-huh. Oh, right. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Halara. Are you sure it's okay to lie like that? I've told you before that deception is necessary to finish an investigation quickly. By the way, aren't you an employee here? There's something I'd like to ask you. Yeah, you got a key? Can you bring over the staff member who discovered the body from that murder case a month ago? Oh, uh, that would be me. Perfect. Describe the events for us. I'm scared to even remember it, but if it's part of the investigation... Okay. I'll leave the rest up to you. Uh, sure. Now, please tell us what happened. That day, I was doing my closing procedures when someone from the church appeared. He said he wanted me to help him find someone and that he knew the person was inside the art gallery. So we looked around the premises together, but didn't find anyone. According to him, there was a chance that the person he was looking for was being pursued by the nail man. I couldn't help but feel terrified when I heard that. How did you notice something was off about the storage room? The lights were on, even though they were usually off. So I went to take a look. The door was locked, so I opened it with the key I had. But I, I was afraid to go any further. So I let the church person go first and open the door while I watched from behind. And then there was a corpse. Did you touch the body? Uh, of course not. I was too afraid and froze at the entrance. What about the churchgoer? He saw what happened at the doorway and didn't go any further. Are you positive you didn't touch anything inside after unlocking the door? Yes. The churchgoer accidentally kicked a paint can over when he opened the door, and paint spilled all over the floor. So that paint was from back then. Okay, I get the picture. Thank you. You may go now. Does the the churchgoer guy go to cover something up? Oh, and that's right. what he did with the paint. There, because he's assisting someone that he knows. That's why he's always the first one because he knows who's gonna be. So he goes to cover up to who did it. You know, like seems that like that brings it. all the information together. It's time to resolve the case. It's finally time, my god. Wait! I still have no idea what happened! Time does not wait for you. Our deadline is approaching. You hurry back to the detective agency. Huh? What about you? 
Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Halara Nightmare shall rush to your aid. And gone. What are you gonna do, Master? We've checked everything we can. All that's left is to point out the true culprit, but... If only it were that easy! Oh, I have no clue what to do! Oh, stop being so pathetic! Why don't we go back to the detective agency for now? We might get to see Fuzzhead get executed. Oh, right! We need to help him! Alara seems to know who the real culprit is. That's incredible! Come on! Uh, Where's your competitive spirit? Oh. You might be a trainee, but you're still a detective. Um, what I think with the broken arm thing with the girl, like maybe she was able to maybe fit through the window or maybe a window, but they couldn't. So they had to dislocate their arm or break it to get through. You know what I'm saying? Like there's gotta be something weird like that. No, no. What did I just do? Oh, I have to. Okay. Oh, so I gotta do all the side quests. How about this? I will just save it now, and then I'll figure out if, if not, if it's important to do those those little side quests. I'm not worried about that right now. I'll come back if I have to. He's just waiting. <laughs> it's about time. Hey, wait! You said I had three hours, huh? My watch says... I still got five minutes! You need to get your watch repaired. Oh dear. The watchmaker is currently <laughs> detained as a suspect. Just throw away that piece of trash then. Besides, you're out of time anyway. Take him away. Why are they walking like that? What? Yuma! I knew you'd save me! And you are. <sighs> I was the one investigating the Nail Man murders. Oh, I see. So, you're the one who interfered with our work at the Clock Tower. Well, I will honor your courage for confessing and turn a blind eye to that incident. You must drop this case. If you do, we will leave without pursuing any further action. That'd be the ideal solution for all of us. What do you say? So why do they want to you drop it? Think? Carefully about this. Solving the case is good and all, but think about my well-being. Dropping the case would end this peacefully, but still. Please, get my dad back from them. Please. You may be a trainee, but you are still a detective. Once you have accepted a job, you must finish it. I can't back down now. The Neil Man killings haven't been solved yet. I will find the truth. Huh? Oh, you've said it now. There's no pulling out of this one anymore. Then our deal is off. He comes with us. This is for directly interfering with our work and bringing strife to Khan I Ward. But... Please, wait. Before you go, please listen to what I've discovered while investigating the past Neil Man killings. You investigated previous killings. We handle all the information for those cases. Now that they're closed, there's nothing left in the crime scenes. I have no time for your lies. The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. All of the victims were strangled to death, weren't they? I suspect this fact hasn't been made public. How did you know that? So the cause of death was kept under wraps. I hope you see now. Yeah. My investigation is legitimate. Please, let me continue. I will catch the true culprit. Hmm. I don't know where you obtained that information. However, it appears that you must be arrested as well. Huh? You are suspected of espionage. I believe an interrogation is in order. Take him away. What? Wait, please listen to me. You've done it now. You almost had it, but got too carried away, rookie. Worry not. When you're in trouble, say my name. Halara Nightmare shall rush to... That's right. Oh no, how much money is it going to cost? Halara, please help. Halara Nightmare. 
Cutscene? It Cutscene? appears you require the aid of a great detective. Ooh. Dang. <laughs> Lara, you came for me. Yeah, as I said I would. You committed acts of violence against the Yamaterasu Corporation peacekeepers. Not once, but twice. <gasps> Sorry! I promise to give him a stern lecture after this. <laughs> Can we please keep things on the <laughs> down low? Uh, Mr. Seth, are you alright? Who do you think we are in this town, we are? You are nothing but an audience. The resolution is premiering now. The leading role belongs not to you or me, but to Yuma. Me? I'm the lead guy here? I've set the stage for you to solve the case. The time has come for you to risk it all as a detective. Expose the true culprit. Oh, they're What's gathering here? On? I don't know why I was brought here. Can I go home? So that's what you meant about setting the stage. I mean, Halara did suggest the real killer was among the people at the church. Now I have to point them out here? Hey, Yuma, are you sure you got this? Are you really... There's no room to mess up here, you know? Um, well... What do I do? I haven't gathered my thoughts yet. It's not like I can just ask for more time here. Yeah, I don't think so. Alara seems to know the answer already, so why don't you just pay up for it? But that would waste all of Halara's efforts setting the stage for me. Huh. So you want to solve this all on your own. If you can't ask Halara for help, why don't you try asking me instead? You mean... The mystery labyrinth? The peacekeepers aren't just gonna stand by and listen to your deduction here. Things are just gonna escalate, and it might even end up with more deaths. Oh no. And that's where yours truly comes in. We have the information we need from the investigation. All that's left is to solve the case with the mystery labyrinth. But if I do that... There's always a price to pay. When I read the soul of the true culprit, the mystery labyrinth created by the culprit is destroyed. Well, yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with that. The, price, the source that created the mystery labyrinth also perishes. Which means the real culprit will die. Huh? This killer's a total psycho who's already killed many He's others. that main character that always sympathizes with so people. Do you want to solve this case, Master? What about your promise to that kid? What's wrong, Yuma? If you don't hurry, <coughs> the peacekeepers will wake up. What is this nonsense about a resolution? I don't have time for this. I will make you listen by force if needed. That is my job as assistant. Well, you better hurry, or things will start getting bloody around here. <sighs> Fine. Well, master, are you mentally and physically prepared? Oh, here comes the the best part of the game. <laughs> I I don't I just really appreciate the art style and the graphics and yeah. Sailor Moon Oh, I guess it's gonna be the same every time. The graphics. What? And the story. Wait, you can. What? What was that? She could. She could see. Or was that hilarious? I don't know who that was. Or was that the? Either way, they saw the uh, Shinigami. What's this? Has time stopped? 
the, the Holara, how are you moving right now? Yuma, what happened? Is this someone's forte? Shinigami, Holara's in here too. Uh oh. Ah, uh, thought so. You knew this would happen? Master, you used your coalescence, remember? Your ability isn't a one-way street. I thought this broke the pact. You have the power to borrow someone's abilities, and you share yours as well. Kalara wandered into the mystery labyrinth because of that effect. I think. You're not even sure? Who are you? This'll take too long to explain, plus I don't feel like it. So I'll take that roll over the faster! <laughs> <laughs> Always gotta hurt him. Alright, back in the labyrinth we go. I'm definitely gonna have to end this because this is gonna be a long episode. Yep. We're going to have to end this here, guys. But you already know, next episode, we're going to do the labyrinth. We're going to figure out the thing. Leave your comments down below. What is your thoughts? Let's let's uh, start a discussion, you know, because I still don't really know. Again, I think it's the nails. You know, you already know my thoughts on it. Let me know your thoughts. And yeah, if you enjoy the series, smash like as always. I really like this game. It's really fun. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.